supposed to remember. Yeah. Hey, hello, and how are you there? Where it's Seth, I got your back. How about that? Hello, coworkers. Ryan was doing the dialogue from the movie from Theater Mode. That was about all we got, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do we play? We watched Nymphoid Barbarians and Dinosaur Hell. It was hell, all right. But anyway. It was definitely hell. What a mashup. Welcome. There was only about 12 lines in that movie. Oh, and well, they were not like delivered like, well. They were, <laughs> and, and half all, of them were written by Lewis Carroll. All in all intelligence. <laughs> That's I'm not also kidding. True. It was a quote for the show. You started reading yeah, fucking. You just started talking about Alice. It, no, it was, uh, it was his nonsense poem. The, the, the Jabberwocky. About, about the j- uh, Jabberwocky. Where the Jabberwocky. I go to Alice said. when I hear Jabberwocky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like Wonderland. Uh, that's what it was called. But this is called Off Topic. Thanks for joining us. You're not joining us physically because this isn't a live episode. So you're more just watching it after the fact. You don't know that until but now. Well, that no, E3 week. No. Yeah. Oh, oh that, that they're all going to E3. That's, yeah. that's why. They're He's all going, going to E3. E3. I'll be there. Yeah. You and I will be we're, here. We'll be here. there. Yeah. I'll be we're going I'll to the couch. I dare you. Yeah. 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 I'll be watching. Is that your E3? What is that? That's what yeah. You've I'm, never been there? No, I've been to E3 many times, so I have to go to the Oh, the pop up. I thought you were yeah. doing like you popped your E3 cherry. No, I popped oh, my E3 good. cherry before Rooster Teeth started. Very confused. Yeah. Bernie, and Gus, Bernie and Gus and Matt and I went to E3 in like 2001, was the first time. So this is your first time going then? <laughs> it's my first time this year. Ah. It's the first time going to the pop up ah. store. Yeah, the, it'll be the like Jeff a, store. Like I, I imagine it'll be like last year where I went to E3 and I didn't step foot on the show floor. Oh, like any convention. Well, had meetings with Lewis, had that. lunches and dinners with Lewis and people. That was just like, you just go from meeting space to meeting space. So that's just an L.A. trip then. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah but that's more the concentrated. Point. There's no. really, well, there's no point in going to the show floor unless you got one of the super badges. Yeah. Or, or like a, well, no, I guess E3. That's not really a thing. I, I was going to say, like or like a, a box to, to put your head in. Yeah, that's they, like RTA. You it's can't not a box as, this year. It's not as bad as E3, for sure. Actually, yeah, you can't, unless you have, I think it's a, what is it? It's one of the exhibitor badges. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't have like a backpack or anything. What? Ooh, wow. yeah. Why? Okay, so heightened security. It's been yeah, interesting yeah. too, because like Gus asked me, he's like, "Hey, did you get your badge for E3 yet?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Uh, Jack got it for me. Like Jack gets me a badge every year, whether I go or yeah. not, which I appreciate. It's like just a, one of those things that, like, one of those unspoken, untalked about little jobs that Jack which has is why given he's still himself here. and yeah. does. I never, I don't ask him to do it, but he does it every year. He's just like, "Hey, I got your badge just in case." So like, Thanks, when man. people are like, "Why does Jack still work there?" Yeah. It's like, well, he gets me a badge. Yeah. Like, but the I, audience doesn't see that. I, asked, I should intro it's not the episode, just E3, by the way, He though. gets you badges to everything. But Gus asked me, before <laughs> you intro. Okay. Before you intro. Do it. Go ahead. And, uh, it's real short. I just want to finish my thought. And uh, and uh, he was like, yeah, they, they rejected me. <laughs> like, what? He had what? to Gus? They re- uh, either he rejected Gus, apparently, <laughs> and he had to, like, <laughs> prove that he worked here and was in the industry, and he had to so do a bunch of secondary like work. He's in, like, everything. He's there with He'll do anything. I don't know. I yeah, think he's gonna get a badge through that. Uh, probably. I don't know. Oh, it's not doing great. Hey, they did the Twitter names. I yeah, saw them. Go with the uh, go with the intro now. Yeah. Everybody's probably. It was probably right. I don't know. I yeah, I'm sure. I, I Mine was right. It, though. Hey, this is, I'm your host, uh, Michael. And we got this week. We got Jeff. It's been Andy. A while. Hey, that's I like to have Jeff and Andy on together. It's been a while. We're kind of like a we're it's kind like of like a, a package deal. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matt Brank. G and A. They call us. Ryan. Heywood. And we are sponsored by Omaha Steaks, Movement, and Me Undies. Mm, those, those things. They need a haircut so bad. I just heard Ryan go, Dude, good God, under his breath. And I thought it was, was like, like oh, yeah, oh, he yeah, hates one know, of the sponsors? sponsors? Right. No, I love <laughs> Oh, my God. I I really, Omaha Steaks. I just, delicious. I li- yeah, that's it. See? There it is. I, I, I was just selling this. Like, I need, I need like, I, I, I need like a whole litany of There's a pro cut. It's like right down the street. I'm right down there. I need a haircut. I need to like go to a dermatologist. I need to There's a dermatologist right in the H-E-B place, too. The H E B. Yeah, and they can buy a, yeah. Uh, you can buy produce. food there too. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. It's all there. Yeah, and fresh they, deli. They just smear a cupcake. Get yourself a, like, get yourself some brisket from the. Uh, mm-hmm. um, they have a bar. Yeah, mm-hmm. you've been to a dermatologist. Their food is before, good. Right? I've been to a dermatologist before. Yeah. Okay, I went there like not like too long once. ago, and that's it's scared the shit out of me the whole time. Where it was the like, doctor's office. Yes, it was doctor's office. But she also just kind of like walked in. She's like, all right. What do you need? I'm like, oh, I thought you would know immediately because I wrote it down and like all they don't these read forms. No, yeah, no, that's no, just no. for the it's, that's for the nurses. So you that's started the, off by being sarcastic and like an asshole to her? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Matt Brown was I mean, like, I was like, me. oh, you don't know? Okay, but no, I like I had a thing on my arm that I thought like might be you know kind of like a little cancery or something Ooh, like that. Yeah, a little cancer thing. Yeah, you did a health check. I, exactly, I did because my Whoa. grandma, my grandma had. So that. so we've learned uh, cancer. That'll that's, make Matt that, go to the doctor. Okay, was it cancer? No, she looked at it for like two seconds. She's like. No, it's just like it's just like a weird pimple. You're okay. And I'm like, that's it. And she's like, yeah. 
You went to a dermatologist you want for a else? weird pimple. Well, it hurt I a mean, lot. That's, okay. you know, and it was like underneath a mole. They do so the skin like, stuff. It's a, it a pimple hiding under a mole. Yeah, and that's yeah. what she was like. Yeah, it's pretty common. That'd be kind of rare. I think. It's not common. I didn't think yeah, that would be I, that I common. I think it was that common either. But well, not that common to like? you, but according to the dermatologist, it's, it's exactly quite common. Okay. She, she also, Ryan, you should get a haircut. It's easy. I did one this morning. Super painless. That's, I need to. I you didn't scream yeah, every time. I didn't, I didn't cry and like move around the whole time. Every time I tried to, it's just, I tried to get one on Sunday, and the, the place near my house has a way you can check in online. And I went to check in, and it was like 94-minute wait. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, no, I'm with you there. I'm good. Even I, though that was, even though I was at home and could have checked in and just not yeah, gone. Yeah, but how accurate is that going to be? Uh, that's that's not going to You're going to show up in 90 yeah. minutes, and either you're They do prioritize the people who are there. Yeah. You know? Like, if you're not yeah. there, like, show 10 minutes up. early, they'll take somebody ahead of you and have to wait an extra 10 minutes. Well, yeah. Something. So I didn't. I can't remember that, the last no, time I was I, on this. I support that. I, I think about I mean, all the you things were, I could do on the weekend, but then I'm like, I'm already It's at been home. a while. Yeah. You were on last week. I tried to come Trevor on, and Trevor kicked me off. off. Yeah. Other than He's that, a boss. He just didn't kick himself off. Uh, no, he had every, oppor- I saw, every opportunity I, I, I to kick himself off. Doing. He was fucking. Uh, okay. He was looking at himself. Single white female. Can so we get back to the pimple under the mole? If he grows, if that fucker grows a beard, I'm going to have him put down. You're gonna have Trevor put down. There's yeah. a beard. The, if he gets any closer, wow! I don't yeah, think if, he, I, if I start seeing tattoos, that's it. It's, it's over. I don't think he can grow a beard. No, he can't. Yeah, he you're, definitely you're cannot. Fine. He gets like a little bit of fuzz up here. And a I couldn't either when I was his age. It. He's he's got what I have. Like but this is like a week further than I do. Week like down. I was, yeah. I shave it off. I was probably like shit. Week. I was probably thirty yeah, before I could grow a beard. Boy, can I know? Yeah. At probably thirty-two, your dick worked. Yeah. You yeah. swapped. Like, yeah. Beard. Yeah, it's true. You just, I did the turn the hourglass. <laughs> just, there's, 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 I, I imagine there's. You get a beard or a cock, but not both at the same time. I don't have any. Yeah, I don't there have, you go. I don't, I've got <laughs> both. I'm fine. No. There's, <laughs> there's probably a fair amount of science, right? Uh, with the human body to say this and that. Sure. What I imagine is that there's just some good juice in you somewhere, and it just makes its way around your body. I'm still looking for my good juice. You know juice. what I mean? Like sometimes, yeah, yeah no, you. You probably had an like, any. A if I had, it's like I, had a, I have a feeling that the any good juice you had is dried on the side of a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that was coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's funny. It was in the basement. Yeah, it's, yeah, I know. So. Some good old spermicide. I, I don't want to put. I don't want to put the like. Uh, Wait, did you say spermicide? spermicide? Did you yeah. think you were gonna yeah, get the wall pregnant? Killing, or? killing a shit ton of babies. <laughs> Oh, you were trying to. Oh, okay, the, I see what you're saying. The act he was saying, yeah, like, yeah. spermicide, yeah. Yeah. like genocide. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sperm, the spermicide yeah. is a, it's a thing. It's, it's a basically, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's exactly. Rocks. Yeah. Oh, okay. they used to be that's, way that they. My different. first wife bought yeah, some yeah, yeah. spermicide once, uh-huh. and we tried to use it w- with sex, and uh, it was like totally safe spermicide, so you don't have to use a condom or whatever. And this, uh, this is 150 years ago. It was my mm-hmm. first wife, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. so we used it, and uh, my dick was on fire for like a day and a half. Cool. Yeah, I was like in tears. Was it like icy so hot? But just yeah, hot. I was like icy it's hot. Just, hot. The tiger bomb. I mean, it's a little known fact. Your like, dick is like 20 percent sperm. So yeah, all like ah! it was like yeah, they were revolting. <laughs> Internally, melting. just like trying to punch its way out. Yeah, I yeah. assume your dick that, deflated because yeah, of that. Yeah. Shrunk, yeah, I didn't read the fine print. It says like this. Heart. Yeah. This this cream works by burning the sperm out. Oh, fuck. well, I, I they, wondered because that used to out. be a big thing. That and diaphragms used to be like that's how we stop it. And it's, diaphragms gone, right? and the uh, what was it the was that sign f- the. Sponge sponge? Sponge? Yeah, oh, yeah, the sponge. sponge. I just watched yeah. an episode. Yeah. Sponges. Yeah. Oh. I need the sponge. I can't spare them. You gotta know if it's like a one sponge guy or a two sponge guy. She only wasted one sponge. Just like, how does the sponge work? I have no I, idea. I, I, no, I have like no idea. idea. I had never heard of the sponge until Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Sure. For then, I, I thought it was like a made-up thing from Seinfeld, but I guess that's something. Surely you know sponges exist in the world. Though. I know. Yeah. So well, I don't yeah. know, like how like a vaginal I can't, sponge. I just don't know yeah. what you. Sponge yeah. Bob. Yeah. He exists. So yeah, they, they gotta come. From yeah, and you, he never gets pregnant. Yeah, it's and he's over there. Why, and he watches <laughs> SpongeBob on Saturdays. He goes, man, thank God for Seinfeld. We wouldn't even have this shit. That's true. I wonder if he had any idea what he was inventing. So Jeff, you didn't. In a shocking twist, we didn't really talk about it last week. You seem pretty hot about it. The that their uh, basketball fiasco. Uh, fiasco. Was, uh, LeBron and the uh, was it Jr. Was his name? Jr. Smith. Was that J-R- it? Oh, that was Jr. Smith being a no. goddamn idiot. <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy that the Cavaliers beat the Celtics in Game Seven at home mm-hmm. in the Garden in the TD Garden um, mm-hmm. because Boston decided to only score seventy six points or whatever it was. Yeah, boy, they picked now, the my wrong year, now my year, now my year is over until October. 
Damn. That part sucks. Like pick a number between one and a hundred. So you're done with basketball? So perfect. I feel like that's not true. I <laughs> I declared myself done with basketball. Usually when we get to the finals, I vote, I just root for LeBron. Because I like LeBron okay. I really like LeBron. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But I dislike so many people on the new look Cavs. Like, I'm not crazy about J.R. Smith anymore. I can't stand Larry Nance Jr. I don't like Jordan Clarkson. Well, why is I'm not he crazy like, about George Hill. Why is he so, gesturing for a baby? Oh, that, no, he's like, I'm going to fucking over there. He's going, what are you be over doing? Here. We had nine seconds left, yeah. and we got the offensive rebound on the missed free throw, and you held the ball, and then threw it to George Hill with less than a second yep. left, and he couldn't get the Sports. shot off, and even if he had, it was a terrible corner three. You I'm wasted thinking. eight seconds. That's, that's what, what he's saying. That's what he's saying, yeah. yeah. That guy, see it that? It's a lot like throw me the bait. No, no, no. See that other guy, Smith. See how he's going. <laughs> he's got a clear, even from the back of his head. You can see him going, huh? Yeah. He doesn't what? know. He doesn't know what's going on. LeBron's like, I'll kill you. Has LeBron, yeah. LeBron squared his look face off good. with that? He's beard? got a weird. The, the he's beard, got a weird the beard. Is like, weird. He's got a weird beard going on. I think what it is. And I don't know if, if we can see if, if uh, that story. is very the broadcast. Control, broadcast, broadcast, broadcast. It's like mutton chops that melted down it. the side of his face. But LeBron, LeBron, is, going. Hands, LeBron is getting. I don't think you're gonna get it in this photo, but LeBron's getting oddly <laughs> bald on top. Look at those pictures. Oh, like he's there. got a balding hourglass, like <laughs> just off centered, where it looks like, like an hourglass on his head. And I think he's so trying to like draw by by. Growing a beard, he's trying to you know draw attention away from. Do you think he's gonna go for like the beard to get long enough to? Like put it on top of his head, like a side, they call yeah, it side yeah, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, people, it looks like it's he's weirdly trying to square. Minecraft Steve or something. It's yeah, completely squared <laughs> off in that picture. That being said, the guy's thirty-three years old and can drop fifty points against the Golden State Warriors in Game One of the Finals. Oh, it's rich. He's doing fine. Super. He's rich. doing very yeah. well oh, for yeah, himself. They didn't win that game. Doing, they did not. If not, they're zero two, and they're gonna. I think it'll be a gentleman sweep. You don't know what that is. is. Gentleman sweep is a a sweep would be it's it's a best of seven, right? So the first team to win four games wins. A sweep would be if they won it in four. Mm -hmm. Uh, A gentleman sweep is when the other team kind of lets you win one game, just so you can have like something. Why why would anyone ever do that? It happens a lot. That's crazy. No, I don't. I feel like it's more like managers doing anything. Don't patronize me. Don't fucking give me one game. Kick my ass. Kick my ass. I'm just trying so hard. Oh no. I fail with dignity all the time. So why can't they? There you go. Well, they're failing with dignity right yeah. now. I feel bad for that dude, LeBron James. As much as I hate that he beat my team, but he uh, he is a, it is literally, a, he's a one-man team playing against the Golden State Warriors. They should come out with, it's like, really, the where, really, the I feel where, bad for him. They could come out with, like, the wherever LeBrons. Yeah. Where Where is he living right now? <laughs> there. He's and in then L.A. L.A. LeBrons. Done. Or they, yeah. they could hire some more people. He could just get like two other. They did. Teams. They flipped more, the entire right? team, almost the entire team, and at, at halfway through the season because the they team was suck. terrible, and the new team is terrible. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> it's the best LeBron's ever played with the worst team he's ever played with. So did they spend Essential. all the money on the LeBron, and then they've only got like they're handing out peanuts to the? <laughs> no, rest it's of just that I think part, part of the problem is that um, <laughs> it's <a> standard <laughs> salary. It's like here, thanks for showing up today. LeBron yeah. likes to play with his friends. You get tickets. Yeah. <laughs> He likes to play with his friends, and uh, who doesn't? He's getting a little older, and so a lot of the people that he plays with are becoming older, and so they don't have the stamina that they used to. Like Dwayne Wade played with okay. them, and he just doesn't have it. He didn't have any gas left in the tank. Uh-huh. Uh, and so they had a lot of like a lot of guys that made sense for one year because they were all still kind of like serviceable enough as uh, NBA veterans and journeymen, and now they're just like they're getting a little long on the tooth, so they had to refresh. And nobody wants to go to Cleveland because a it's Cleveland. And B, yeah. everybody on earth thinks LeBron James is going to leave next year, and he probably is. So nobody wants to go inside a big contract to play for Cleveland and then have LeBron James go, all right, see ya, I'm and out. And then they're stuck with those players. Yeah, and, okay. and then they're stuck yeah. in, a, in a small market where they'll never win. They won't win another title in 30 years probably. So why well, doesn't he go somewhere else where there are people? <clears> he's probably going to. Oh. He's probably going to. Well, he's well, going to leave. He's, he's going to leave Cleveland, leave. not the game. He's not going to leave the game. He's going to leave Cleveland. Okay. That's the the the, the yeah, speculation. Take a bowling. Is that when, <laughs> when Golden State just like pushes his shit in, which is what's happening? Um, yeah, he'll probably leave and go to. Uh, I don't the know why Knicks. you guys ask if you guys care. The no, he would Knicks. never in a million years. I'm he would go about. to the Lakers. Yeah. yeah. Pro- like potentially the, the Houston Rockets, potentially, or more likely the Philadelphia 76ers. He should really just mix it up. Yeah. If he goes to the Philadelphia Shocking. 76ers, that would be that'd be bad for me. But good for you basketball. Don't like them. No, that would be. They're a very good team. They're our competitor. They're our oh, future competitor, right, the Celtics. Right, so if he goes right. to that team, it's just going to make it Why that much harder to, to beat Celtics? them. I mean, we don't want. Oh, you don't want? Them? We got Kyrie. We don't want. Okay. Aren't all of their teams your, your competitors? Not, not really. 
Okay. No, that's true. Yeah, that, I know <laughs> there's some sports. Well. There's in, rivalries. In theory, yes, but not real. Okay, yeah, there's a, like uh, the Cowboys and the Giants. And that's football. Yeah. They, yeah. they don't like each other. Those are teams. Sure. That's yeah. like, no, they're rivals. Yeah. Even though I don't know how that started. One's in New the, York and one's the, in New York. It's like everybody else in the Patriots. <laughs> and, and long story. Hates that's them. Tom yeah, Brady. I can name two <laughs> Long sports story short. Right. The West is There's packed with talent. Break. So, and, and, and LeBron, I don't think, would ever go West. Because if he goes West, he'll have to go through the Golden State Warriors to get to the finals. He'll have to go through the Houston Rockets to get to the finals. All the talents in the West, something like 14 of the top 20 players in basketball are in the West. Okay. He's in the East because he can basically coast to the finals every year. Mm. And oh. I don't think he'll leave the East. I think he'll just move to Philly because Philly's a, an East Coast team and the, the best option for him. So, so he'll probably stay East because it's like he can just coast the whole season through, hit the playoffs, turn on, play hard for a month, make it to the finals. So he's the best lazy player in the NBA. <laughs> yeah, There's best lazy player, that. but yeah. don't worry about. It. I'm not. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not judging. Matt, he's but lazy and yeah. good. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's Rich, not just, he's not guy. just, just lazy. lazy. Yeah. Square beard, like he like, does whatever <laughs> just, he wants. Yeah. You could be the best. What's up? Yeah. 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 Fine. Does that just do whatever? Is that good for sports talk? Yeah, I think people because yeah. I'll go all day long. Yeah, but I'm trying to be cognizant of the fact that you guys don't give a shit and the audience won't care. So I don't want. There's a couple out there. There's a couple out there. I've seen the six or seven people that were like, "Bring back sports ball." Mm-hmm. They're always like, I don't understand why it got canceled. And then the other guy is like, me neither. <laughs> yeah. You two should just and talk. that's it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's not that I don't give a shit, Jeff. It's, I, there's a barrier of entry that I haven't crossed. Like, I don't TV? understand. Do you, have a, you have a TV? I have a TV, yes. And then that, you, just, I don't you eliminated enough. the barrier. I don't have, understand well, enough about the game. I'll be honest, I don't yeah. give a shit. I do have games. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. I, I'm yeah. not going to lie about it. Like, Matt and Sam, it's I'm not. not I, no, it's not that I don't give a shit. Like, I was raised in a very sports centric household, but I was not raised to be taught how to understand. Let me ask you a question. I not understand. Go, go back to your. Go I mean, back to your. I want to go there. There's like rules and shit. Go back. How do you get a free throw? Do you have to punch somebody in the face? I'm going to lose an elbow. It's got to be Matt. Go back to your days of high school. I don't want to. Do you remember, to. Do you remember just briefly, okay. enter, entertain this uh, line of thinking with me. Do you remember the jocks in your high school? Not really. They're pretty forgettable. I was yeah. in like a very Did white you, school. No one was good at anything. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you don't remember like them being, school. like all the football players being like Mensa students? They weren't all Rhodes Scholars, right? I mean, a They're, few of them were. You don't know <laughs> No, he's <laughs> really, he's putting no. a fight with Sports you. ain't hard. <laughs> Idiots play it. Do you want to try I mean, it? I'm Idiots not, not going to make the argument that sports good it's, is it's hard, arguably, I would say. <laughs> well, but that's the thing. It's now, like now you're bummed out. You bummed him out. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. Just, he I, just refuses. He's not giving no, me anything. Anyway. I know. I wouldn't when, go when along like, with you. My thing is, like, if there's like a flag on the play or some shit yeah. like that, I want to know what caused that. Well, if in football, well, they'll they, tell you. They tell you. Yeah, I know. They literally pick up the flag and tell you. There's a lot of jargon. Holding. Exactly. It's like. 10-yard penalty. There's a ton of, like, jargon that I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Holding isn't jargon. Holding is a description of What are they holding? The person. The person. You held that guy, man. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> oh God! No, that, that was a flag on the podcast. Yes, Matt, you have like, to go flag. Okay. Don't know that. It's simple. Oh. In basketball, you can double dribble. You can travel. Right? These are bad things. These are bad things. Okay. You can. You can. That both. Well, tra- both those traveling, basically traveling means. You can hold. You can stand wrong, right? too long in the yeah. wrong place. Yeah. And you can kick the ball. That's about all the bad like, stuff. Or hit it. That's good. Or there's other like that. For like, you can you can walk too far in the wrong direction, and that's a penalty. And don't forget charging. That's also a thing. And you can charge. You've also added like four after you said it was simple. So, <laughs> but that's about but it. at no point is it getting hard. And don't don't and MMA don't, fight somebody. Yeah. Okay. Then you're right. good. Like I guess I understand basketball now. There you go. Hey, nobody you knows Pokemon about. type advantage is more true. than this guy. I, I do know me some Pokemon. I mean, I will be honest. That's just describing that. That's a thousand times more complicated. Yeah, but the thing is, it was explained to me because the game explained it to me. Basketball doesn't start and be like. Hello, trainer. I mean, let me teach you how does, to play though. basketball. It kind of does every up, game. I mean, even besides the fact that you just <coughs> learn from watching a game, how much research would that take? See, one I just page? like I never went to basketball training school. Right. Yes. I just watched a game, and I'm not stupid. All right, <laughs> I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm just saying it's not fucking. I'm not hard. saying you're stupid, it's but if someone book. watched it yeah, and didn't yeah, understand, yeah. then you're. Yeah. Stupid. I am saying if you watched the game tomorrow and you and you came to me and you didn't understand the principles, I would think you were stupid. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like whenever <laughs> there, there would definitely be a few things that might like I, I jump out at you. The, like. the basic like ball in hoop. Okay. You're good. Yeah. You're halfway there. You're if, a fan. That's where if, if you're past two. the line, bounce three the ball. points. Put on a green yeah, shirt. You're a Celtics fan. It's awesome. Yeah, you bounce it quite a bit. But don't bounce it too much. Don't double bounce it. No, no, you can't stop bouncing and then. Bounce again. Oh, okay, I, that's why I didn't See, know. I, I don't that's care enough about that's sports. That's I'll watch him with like my father, and then like I'll retain the knowledge for like a day, and then it just all leaves. 
and then it's just like then I don't then I don't know what's happening again. That's usually like how I do with sports because I, I just mean, don't care enough. To really. me, sports is like I'll watch football. I have it in forever. I've watched the last two Super Bowls because it's like, like, football. I like. But like, here's the thing about being like a fan to me, a fan with Matt's like I don't understand it. Like, it I understand football and basketball and all that. To me, like getting into it is like you're not only do you need to know the players in your team, you need to know all of them. That's it's like just what Jeff roster. just said. Is he just went true, all yeah. just like, well, this guy's on this team, and they transfer here. That's someone who watches sports and is a fan of sports. I don't think anything in that. I'm just like, but wait, that's kind of the gonna rules make a work. <laughs> that's shit that like you <laughs> just have to watch it. Yeah. It's like you don't wake up one day and go, I'm gonna get into the basketball. Who's that? What's every single player on every single team? That's like you just have to watch it for years. I would yeah. imagine, and I've never had that. Like with any sport, again, when you're like, oh, so and so is good on this team and that team, blah blah blah. You're lucky if I knew five fucking people on the Giants for like ten years. I could probably name at Eli least... Manning. Throw it. He'll throw it. I could probably name four players on every team. Right. Well, some teams. That's, that's pretty some good. Teams, that's a lot. Some teams I could name every player the entire yeah. roster. Yeah, that's pretty good. What is this? It comes from like, watching sure. so even even hundred guys that basketball like games play. a year. That's not really. I mean, there's got to be a lot of guys that just sit on the bench all the time. Yeah, that yeah. guy's name is Abdel Nader. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He sits next to the the fucking Gershon Yabasule. He very rarely plays. That's, and still makes a lot of money. That's still probably gets like at least right? a couple million. Oh, yeah. It's just I mean I I'll be a professional, day. just almost good enough. Don't exactly. Don't yeah. ever have to play. He's like a standard. However, if that guy breaks his leg in three, he's a professional standard. Not two. If it's two places, he's back on the court. Yeah. You, you think he's got to be sitting there like he sees one guy fall down. He's like, that's okay. That's right. I got, I got like it's... two or three more. And then like the fourth guy's down. He's like, shit. <laughs> yeah, you, like, you I didn't don't, sign don't in die. to play. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here to drink the water. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. I mean, that's, I mean, not those guys playing. They're busy. Oh, man. What have we, what's been going on? I did a. I mean, just trying to think of the in general. I'm trying to think of what. Like, I, went to, I was in San Francisco for a while. Yeah. What, what have y'all been up to? I, I did stand up comedy. Well, how, was how, was that? how was that? I almost got hit by a tropical storm, but it, it kind of petered out. Was this in Georgia or Florida? Florida. Yeah. Yeah, subtropical storm Alberto. Was this like family summer vacation type thing? It was, this was the first vacation Larry and I have taken since the kids were born. We're Are just, you serious? Wow. Just us. Oh, away from the kids. Just, just no kids. Did no you dump nothing. them at they grandparents? They threw them into the yeah, storm. They, the yeah. grandparents came to <laughs> <Right>. us. <Yeah. laughs> and it was great. Yeah, we just left. Where did you guys go in Florida? Uh, it was uh, Miramar Beach. It's kind of near Destin. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just nice beach. Destin's it's gorgeous. Nice. It's a pretty area. Just sit on the beach, do nothing. And, uh, except for the subtropical storm. I think that was bummer, the storm that, that annihilated Baltimore. It annihilated nothing. Well, but in Florida. And even in anywhere, there was there were simultaneously floods going on in Baltimore. That was more interesting than what was happening to us in a subtropical storm. Oh, so that was yeah. not the storm. So the storm not related. Same, the same like, storm. When it's subtropical, okay. Baltimore know. was like They're smashing cars crazy. together. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, it's because yeah. uh, my brother was here and he had to go back. He lives like just outside of Baltimore, and and like he was talking to his roommate, and he's like, "It's fucking awful." <laughs> there was like feet of water there. I, I've thought. lived several places where I should be hit by a hurricane or tropical storm and never been so hit by a hurricane. Ryan You've never like, been in a hurricane. He's like tempting nope. jury oh duty right here. We, we, we did like we had like two we every had year one, like, growing last up. Year. I mean, by the time we got to us, it oh yeah, and we, nah, we just we, we got the wisp. We didn't count. get the full. Oh, okay. We're too far. Well, in that case, I guess I've never been in one either. I've had I've had one or two living on Cape Cod because but but by then they're usually downgraded to like tropical storms. They're not that big. Exactly. The worst them like by the time they get up that high up, you have them about as often as a teeth cleaning in Alabama. Like they, like, oh sure, so yeah, Alabama, yeah. but yeah, they, it, well, I keep thinking in a, in a civilized Alabama. society. Yeah. Yeah. right. That's you get them like every three or four. You get them like every four, a couple or four months. Yeah. In, in gotcha. all the Gulf it just sets it back just a little. Like, yeah. well, technology think, doesn't regress too far. And I think too that last one you mentioned that was like nothing in Austin. I'm like further out than you guys. That was with, that was the one that everyone in Austin's like, there's nothing. Lindsay and I were under our fucking stairs in the closet really? yeah, well, as no, our house is getting hit with fucking hail. It was like chunks of hail, like. I remember that. Yeah, it it sizes. Wasn't too bad. I was like, it, holy shit. It wasn't too bad. I know that uh, my dishwasher flooded. Like, it yeah. leaked up through the, the bottom. Did it clean yeah. the dishes inside of it? No, I, oh. it actually made them very terrible mm. smelling. Mm. Uh, oh, and then two trees outside of uh, my apartment just fell down and kind of crashed on the building. But the building held them down. Up. Yeah. Yeah. And it was fine. Uh, yeah, no, the first. I think one of the first months we were in Texas, in Corpus Christi, was when whatever that storm was, I forget the name of it, that was like, oh, I'm going to get you. And then it took out uh, Galveston. Mm. It was coming, and we, we moved here, turned on the TV, and it was like, there's a hurricane coming, and it was its path was right through Corpus Christi. And then it went north, and we just got a little bit of rain. Sorry, Galveston, that was a bad one for you guys. Corpus got oh, fucked up a little bit last year. Last year got with, a little. With the, with the Houston Well, Corpus is like storm. an inch yeah. above water level. Yeah. Right. 
It's it's pretty. It, nothing there. Like, yeah. It's like really there's the dock. Not anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm in the land. I'm on the water. Yeah. I'm Same old. Thing. Dollar beers. Something a lot less substantial happened to me with my apartment last week, where as uh, I was just getting ready to go. Uh, to go to work, and the the guy was like uh, power washing like the hallways in between all the doors, mm-hmm. and the guy fucking started power washing my door. So then all this like mud wire just started flying through my apartment because the seams weren't Whoa. that weren't great. <laughs> sure. So it's like it wasn't even just like flooding in; it was like flying. Blasting it was you. blasting and got all over the TV, <laughs> the bookshelf. That's wild. So pound on the door. So, yeah. so I opened the door. And but the guy had like headphones on and was like blasting it, so he didn't hear me. So I was like cleaning up my apartment. By the time I was getting ready to go to my car, he was already gone into like another building. So I got on the phone with my apartment complex. I was like, "Hey, I don't know who's power washing the apartment complex, but he just blasted my door. All this mud and water just flew through my apartment." You should tell him to stop blasting these doors because I swear to God, I guarantee it's gonna happen to every other apartment he's doing as well. Be- Wouldn't you say so, like you knew he did it and went across the hall too, didn't you? I he, he I, I just saw yeah. him do my door and then I, I I'm sure he did the rest of them, but I was just concerned about mine. So then she was like, "Oh my gosh, he should not be power washing the door." So then they <laughs> came to my shit, apartment yeah. and then they then they actually cleaned up the inside of my apartment. So that was very nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. But my apartment complex, who has a Twitter uh, account. Just followed me, so I'm just Uh-oh. like, oh, mm-hmm. yep. So I had to block him, so I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> because, because I don't want people knowing where I live. And so just like a recent followers, so I'm just like, oh, that's a great block. point. Yeah, that's a great yeah. point. So Why did they like, follow you? Yeah, that's yeah. a good question. Yeah, I don't know. That's I don't know how they found me. You don't want that. But I'm just like, nope. That's weird. Block. Sorry. Hey, that guy lives here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> tell everybody. Blocking that account. <laughs> I didn't even get an alert for it. It was like, yeah, (laughs) it was like in like my last like twenty followers. It was from a couple days ago, and I was like, nope, block, 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 block. (laughs) That's wild. Yeah, I was was thinking about the complex too. Never mind. Yeah, give me that three hundred (laughs) dollar referral. Yeah, did a Twitter experiment over the weekend. (sighs) Over uh, did a poll about the my bipping in uh, in mini golf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, honestly, it was it was. Nothing to do with modifying my behavior at all, to be frank. It was entirely about just being curious what the ratio of comments of people that don't like something to people who do like it and don't say something yeah. is. Granted, I fully realize. I put that pull up on my Twitter, so it's like going into a college party and going, Who likes beer? Right, <laughs> right. Uh... But it was interesting. I mean, it, it, it was 74%. It was the majority. Yeah, there yeah, it is. is. 74% are like, yeah, to go all the way with the bipping stuff. 16% neutral, which I guess they were just like, yeah, it comes and goes. And then 10% were the people that were. Like, I, as a person who has uh, suffered the most, the most egregiously <laughs> from, your, there, yeah. from your bipping, thank God Alfredo showed up on the scene. <laughs> but as the person who I, I would say has, has absorbed the most bip, uh, I certainly hope you continue because it makes for yeah. a better video. I mean, that was the poll. Nobody I mean, wants to see me. It's, it's, nobody it's wants to see me play golf happy. Yeah. I didn't want to mention no, no that in the poll because I didn't want to skew the results anymore. Which was that I, you know, I frequently ask you guys like, "Is this too much?" Like, and the consensus in the room is always, "Yeah, do it." I th- that's something yeah. I don't know if the <clears throat> audience knows is that a lot of those decisions, a lot of things that like people decide to pick out and they they hate like one particular thing. Mm-hmm. They, I don't know that they realize how much communication goes on behind the scenes. Like, we're, we're going to do something. Like, like when, when you ruined Until Dawn? <laughs> right, <laughs> when I ruined Until Dawn. I was going to say, or, or like, let's watch Jack. Like, we're all, we all know what's coming. <clears throat> we're all in on that. It's something that we talk about beforehand. Everybody has a role, and we, we discuss, like, like stuff like, am I going too far with this? Yeah. We have, like, it's... Let's Watch Jack is, like, my A lot favorite. of thought goes in a lot, everything we do. Uh-huh. That's, like, my favorite for twofold. Like, one, I like watching it happen, and then two, I like... The shit he gets for. Mm-hmm. I like all of them. And then they're like, fuck Jack. I'm like, it's pretty funny though. Yeah. <laughs> then ja- very, then very Jack funny. gets, he'll come in and been like, he always does the thing where he's like, oh, I'm not allowed to do it anymore. Which just means the next video he's it's gonna, gonna be do worse. It yeah. It's just, I, I enjoy it. It's a whole there's cycle. A, there's a lot of communication that goes there's on. There's a tremendous amount of communication. Rarely, and even if, even if, even if, not to say like everything's planned out and discussed, but even if something happens in a video, it's not like, unless it's a live stream, it's not like the video ends and then it's out. It's like the video ends and then we'll talk about it. For a week. So yeah. it's like by the time the audience gets it, even if it was an on-the-fly thing that one person did, like, I don't know, maybe it's like an argument and somebody got pissed off or somebody was fucking around with it or whatever. Like, even if it happens in the video, there's never a case where it's like, that happened, everybody hates it, we're not happy about it, and then three weeks later the video comes out. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it just, like, it would either get cut out or the video wouldn't come out, yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? Like again, it's it's not like we don't discuss it after the fact as well. 
Which every time we talk about how we're prepared or we, we or any preparation we do, the audience takes that as scripted. That's yeah. not what we're saying oh, yeah. here no. at all. No, it is. <laughs> Except for the, the part that it's 100 percent that. Well, it's the whole room, right? You guys sit with all the writers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We write the content. I mean, you guys do it. Some, this, some of it's ad lib, but most no. of it's yeah. say to the script pretty good. This particular passage is a little bit bold because we shouldn't be talking about right, it, you know, in, in the script. It's but, a, uh, bit, a bit self-referential. Uh, yes, yeah, but uh, uh, ultimately, we thought it was probably for the best. Okay, think, good overall. Mm. But yeah, so no, I'm, I'm glad to see that most of the people are pro bipping. Um, I'm sorry for the folks that are not. It's like it. I edited the last two videos, and that was easily like I would always highlight Ryan's angle from like hitting somebody. Like oh, that was yeah. the best part. It's, I mean, it's. Well, it's just like yeah, it's just like because it's just like when you're when you're like you're like with the camera like you're stalking your prey like who to go yeah. for, and it's usually Alfredo. <laughs> And it was just like it was just the greatest part of the video. I so think it's a lot of the people, and we have a lot of people that get very uh, empathetic towards us in videos, and if they feel like you're being unfairly put upon, like the reactions from Jeff and, and Alfredo when they get ah, yeah. like they feel like that's well, but, mean to them. They're being mean, and those are legitimate you, reactions. Yeah. But you know, going in right. that you run the risk of that. It's like if I'm going to go swim in a shark tank, I had, there's a chance I'm going to get bit by a shark. I know that going in. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Uh, yeah. I know when I'm gonna play. If I say if I say yes to playing mini golf with you guys, I know there's a chance you're gonna make me mad, and golf is gonna make me mad, and more importantly, my deficiencies are gonna make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have them. Oh, I got them in spades. Them. I got them in Kate Spades. I mean, that's she's oh, dead. Yep, she did die. Um, and that uh, that's like another thing with like Gavin recently. The um, Emily wants to play two just came out. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like those games. No, at no, all. No. He knows what they are before we get in there. So it's like in that sense, it's planned. Of like, this is a scary game. We're gonna play this. And even before then, he mentioned this in the videos. He does this all the time. Where he'll be like, oh, let's fucking play. You know, Gavin. He's like, film, 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 yep. film. You know, I got, I got, I got to be somewhere else. I got something else to do. If I'm not here, I'll go somewhere else. If I'm something, else. what are we doing? And I'll be like, oh, we got, I got to play pals. We could do this, Ryan, highlighting some of Ryan's bippage. Um, this is like a trailer for the game. I was like, yeah. um, there's like no name burn, so. You know, we're going to play. Emily wants to play too. And he's like, okay, great. Yeah, the first one was great, blah, blah, blah. We hit play. And he's like, I fucking hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to play this. And he was like shitting his pants playing the game. We get done, and he's like, you know, out of the video. And he's like, I still, I fucking hate this. I hate that. But that was great. Yeah. It was a great video. Yeah. Well, no, it no. It's, game, a, it's you know a, what I mean? And it's just like, that's the case terrible. all the time. Like, when we were getting the we're, we're working on this kind of this documentary around stand-up comedy I don't think we've actually I'm unintentionally announcing it right now but like when you when you're faced with like six months in advance and they go do you will you do stand-up comedy you go yeah I'll do stand-up sure I don't want to but I'll do it I've done that and it sounds times. good and then the day of you're like oh fuck I hate this why did I do this why did I say yes to this but you do it because it's your job. It's on the spot. That was yeah. me with That's, laser. That is hundred yeah. percent on the spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Yeah. I'll be in the movie. And then two years later, he was like, "Hey, we're start filming in like two months." And we're like, like oh, "Oh, we're doing that, huh?" <laughs> it's easy to say yes to stuff. <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Very very easy. See, I see, and I like doing that though. Honestly, that's kind of a that's kind of something I appreciate here. Like like I'll say yes to stuff, not not stuff I'm not interested in. But stuff, it's like, if, if you came up to me and said, hey, we're shooting a movie tomorrow, you want to be in it? I'd be like, fuck no. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's easier to say yes because it's far away. Yeah. But then when it gets close, I'm like, fuck, I said yes. I have to do it. I have a I can say no immediately. I can't yeah, say no after I said six that's months That's the ago. Andy method. Well, that's the pathetic Andy method of getting out of things. <laughs> Get out of it. Yeah. I have a new philosophy that <laughs> I've been hearing came up. for about the last year that uh, I just say yes to everything now. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. especially if it's something I don't know how to do or I'm uncomfortable. As a, th as a thing in Far Cry and 5. It's been really, really beneficial. Or yeah. that Jim Carrey movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With Zoe Deschanel. Also, Zoe Deschanel. Also, yeah. Dennis, obviously. Yeah. You say yes. <laughs> say yes. And you'll learn real fast if, if you can do it or not. Mm -hmm. You really shouldn't yeah. have announced that. Though, because you know, there's lots of parts of this company that have now seen that you will say yes to everything. They already know. That's yeah. They already know. See, Welcome I'm to more, the next seven. It's already like a, of on the spot. With it's already yeah. like a. It's like a. It's already like a. That's let's well, no, ask Mikey. He'll try anything. He knows not to do it. That's <laughs> that's always says yes. Right. That's my difference there. Like I'll say yes to maybe scary things or interesting things that like maybe I don't know if I'm good at and I've ever done before. Then there's just crap like on the spot. I mean, there's no mm -hmm. there's no mystery right. there. Like oh, let me go carry John's show again. Like I did, I did one recently. I was super scared about after I said yes to it, and it was terrifying. 
up to doing it and then while I was doing it. And it turned out well, I thought, which was I went to San Francisco a while back and it had nothing to do with comedy. And I chaired a panel on women in gaming and women's issues in gaming. I don't know why the fuck they wanted me to do that, but I did it with a bunch of women in the industry. Did they think you were Jeff Keeley? They might. Maybe. <laughs> they, they, I'm, the, I'm the Jeff they can afford. The G Jeff. <laughs> and I was terrified to do it. And then it went really well. And it was fun. And I was happy I did it. God damn, was I scared to do that. Sit there in front of a bunch of advertisers and talk about women's issues. Like I have any right to talk about women's issues. That does seem like an odd choice. Yeah. But I kicked the dicks out of it, so I guess it was. Uh, I guess That's it was. how they yeah. ended up women. There you go. Kicked them all, yeah. Yeah. Right all right out. Off. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's like the anticipation. I think that's what makes you nervous about stuff that you're just coming up on. When you're in like, it, you're not thinking about it. Also, it depends on what it is, but it's, it's good. And, and this is good for everybody. It's good. Uh, good life advice from Jeff. Step outside your comfort zone a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's true. You'll find very quickly that your comfort zone grows. Sure, and That's, it's and your comfort zone growing is a really really good thing for you. It's uh, different for everyone here. I mean, literally even at this table, let alone achievement hunter, rooster teeth. But it's uh, fuck. That's me coming here. I work here. That was yeah. like Jeff and Bernie. Like, hey, want to quit your job and move to Texas? Yeah. That's it. Just move your whole life. To move halfway across the country, doing something you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. You've never done before. Yeah, on the other side of the country with people you don't know, and it's like I don't have a single family member or friend here. Like, why want to come move out here and do it? And I was like, um, that's like, and I mentioned as well the first time you guys offered, I went, no, no, yeah. I don't. I know because I went, <clears throat> yeah, wasn't, wasn't expecting that part. <laughs> Playing hard to get. Yeah, it worked. It did. It did work. It did work. Then I had that, that RTX bash. That was that was like one of the things too. Even coming here, I visited. Like I, this is the first time I ever visited here. I came to the office, and and you know, you guys offered me the job, and then I went back home, and they were like, "Don't don't answer us until you get back home." You know, talk with your family, or whatever. And I was like, "Yeah, I talked with them, and I, yeah, that's no, I don't want to move. That's kind of mm. it's kind of extreme for like a thing I was doing, like just kind of on the side, just for the fuck of one it. One video a week for the fuck of it, and it's like even the job I had, like I've been there six years, and it's like, well, that's kind of a it's kind of a huge life decision and that's why i said no and then um you had the first rtx and you guys invited me to come to that and that was just like oh shit that was like a glimpse into like what yeah i remember the could thing be I, most of what i remember about that rtx was just running around with you and gus at that double tree yeah yeah, yeah that's where i was having a, having a lovely tree. time it was it was well it was nice andy was there i was yeah. there was the first time i met him yep. yeah i remember in person mm -hmm. he warmed his way in hey yeah, you did. I, I wiggled my way in, yeah. <laughs> and now you're here. I'm here. Yeah. You got a seat at the table. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. It worked out for you. Um, it's crazy. Yeah. Blanchard. No, I, I met a bunch of people. And it's like, not only knowing people here, I didn't know people in the community. Mm -hmm. I wasn't friends with anybody in the community. Um, kind of to like yeah, a couple. like at the AHTV people. A couple but, months. No, yeah. they hated me. This is before that. That's Jeff specifically told me no one liked me in the in the, oh. like oh yeah by all these people they don't like you but don't worry about it. <laughs> I did yeah. tell you Mike hated no, you. I did. Mike yeah. hated me uh, yeah as, as I heard like uh, mostly anybody anybody like doing stuff community side like active in the community they're like eh, I'm not really a fan of you but don't worry about that and I was like oh okay I'm not really worried about it but <laughs> look at you Steve okay well, I guess I no, wasn't you know, tell me yeah that. nobody likes me but why would you open with that and then like, yeah, I really Jeff like you. Yeah. it's yeah. Jeff that's why I, I remember applying yeah, I'm like cool thanks. And he was like, like, yeah. the knife he was like we love you, though. Yeah. We love you, and our wives are big fans. That was the message I got. <laughs> the, the founders, they like Rage Quit. The, our wives are fans. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not gonna. I don't see the point in lying. No, or like h hiding shit. I mean, it wasn't much I lying. It's, it's just, just kind of unnecessary. It's like, like, yeah, exactly. I, wasn't like, I wasn't speaking to those people. You could have know who they were, and, that and they're just up. like, by the way, these people know you. Then you don't know. They don't like they you. Fucking I was like, thanks, Jeff. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. But like a couple months go by, and it's I was good to have that information going. <laughs> in. I was still, still, you know, dabbling, like dipping my toe in, you know, getting involved in other stuff besides Rage Quit. I know you guys did a couple like office. Uh, you guys would do some like office streams and stuff like mm -hmm. from the old uh, 636 office and I jumped in a couple of those one of those is where I met Andy I jumped into a game and I was just, we were just like playing with the community and I got into a game with Andy and I recognized his username because it was like on the site Sorry. it was on YouTube and like I just what interacted with him Mr. SR because I wanted oh, to get yeah, Mr. Mr. Sir but Mr. Sir. The, 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 I, I couldn't get the so I was like <laughs> the first conversation I ever had with Andy like he, he sent me a message and I was like oh Mr. Sir I know that I know who that kid is and I invited him to the game and that was the first time I ever talked to Did him. Did not leave a great impression on him. He you was like, <laughs> what did he say? He was like, 
oh, oh, I'm such a big man of Rage Quit. It's, it's, it's a really funny show. I really like it. And I'm like, I mean, still in New Jersey, Michael. And I was like, okay, great. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you like it. And then he what pauses. You, what are you telling me? He pauses and he goes, Usually, when someone you know, gets a compliment, they say thank you. And I'm like, why don't you shut the fuck up? Why don't you get the fuck out? And then you can go play Halo by yourself. And he was like, all right. And then, and then, and then so then, like, that was the only game I played with him. And I played games all night, like a couple hours. And at the end of the night, we were done. I was, I was going to bed and I went through my recent players list and I was just going down them. And I saw Andy's name in there. I'm like, he's a good kid. And I sent him, I sent him a friend's request. He saw some potential. That was how I became friends with Andy. I sent him a friend's request. And so then, like, little moments like that leading to RTX was, like, I started getting to know more and more people in the community. And then, like, RTX, that all these, like, people that came from every even, – even RTX was, like, there was only 500 people. But you had people still from out of the country there. There was there was a couple of guys from Fucking Ireland. Only 200 people. I remember. And I was just like, this is fucking crazy. And it was just full reversal. Like, the, it was, like, two, three months later, you know, you guys were like, hey, you know – because we were doing like a three month kind of contract deal with Rage Quit. And yeah. they were like, you know, so what do you think? And I was like, yeah, give me the job. I'll take it. Like, I completely flipped. All because you stepped out of your comfort zone. It's true. That's good. I mean, things that's come. I mean, that's basically it. Yeah. I I was like, shit in my pants. I kept telling my family when I moved, I'm like, I'm going to fail and I'm coming back home, just so you know. Just leave the room. I'll have yeah. no job, but <laughs> I'm going one of, to fail. One of two I'm things. I'm still waiting for it. One of two things happens when you do that. You find. I have an affinity for this, or I'm good at this thing, or I like this thing, or it's not for me, and now I know. It's only informative and in, I'm in definitely a way better at this than my last job. Yes, I would assume so. Yeah. Having not I mean, experienced you in your previous job, uh, yeah, you're very good at this job. I was I, I was all right. You could I'm, have been an electrical mogul by now. No, I'm, I mean, no, I, I honestly possible. would probably, unfortunately, have gotten my license and owned a business. I didn't want to do it, but I was doing it. I'm with, I live in a world who gives a shit what you want to do. This is your yeah, life. You right. happen to have a job. It's a good job. Yeah, it's something realistic. It's a career. And I'm just like, well, I guess this is what I'm going to do. I had no, like, drive. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't like, yeah. You weren't I wasn't super waking passionate. up like, yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. This I am. Much you know? much like how Michael grew up, Ryan, had I had I stuck with what I was good at, I would have, uh, I'd run, I would own the tool repair shop now. They were grooming me to take it over someday. Hmm. Yeah. So fucking Do you ever miss I'm not a tool mixing repairman. tools though. Or no. they're fixing tools. No, I don't. I don't ever. I had a I had the, a crescent I had the pleasure shape, I had the pleasure of uh, <laughs> right. I had the pleasure I of being married to an artist for thirteen or t- with an artist for thirteen years who used power tools. So I would I had I got to I got to occasionally fix some of Griffin's uh, tools and that always was like fun. Yeah. That, that scratch that itch. Did it's you? nice on the rare occasion, yeah. Did you fix them? On a rare occasion. I mean Most, yeah, you you know how to fix a chainsaw. Uh, I've never fixed a chainsaw in my life. Okay. No, I don't know how to fix a chainsaw. But I know how to fix a angle grinder or a okay. bandsaw or I mean, it's a also, hammer drill or whatever. It depends what you're talking about. Because, I mean, that more, like, tool repair, that really, to some extent, has absolutely nothing to do with, like, being the tool and more, like, the, the like, power parts of it. Yeah, like, you change know, out the brushes. Like, the handle or could be 90% of the work. Fix the switch sure. or, like, the armature went seized up, so uh-huh. you put a new armature in, like, that kind of stuff. It's not do fun. you know how to fix a seized up lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> I might know a guy. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> anything about right two-stroke <laughs> engines. I'm afraid. No, I definitely get that. It's certainly enjoyable when, like, I take care of something around the house and I fix it and, like, I know I can fix it and I don't have to call somebody and I'm like, hey, look at that. There's a useful yeah. life skill. Doesn't come up. It doesn't come up as much with this job outside of this. Job. Oh, what are you talking about? I, I feel like I'm ready to flip a house. Man. That's well, I'm playing. This <laughs> I, house. I, 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 I have been playing that game. Flipping, I had one, great. one thing in recent history, which is 100 percent true. I got that uh, that that uh, Ferrari car for Iris, the little drivable <laughs> one, and it comes with a remote because she's too little to drive herself around. So I can drive mm-hmm. for her. I'm amazing at it because I play video games all the time. Like yeah. it's super like. <laughs> Feathery, yeah, and like everyone, you know, her family and my brother was in town, and everyone, I'm like, oh, here, want to drive her around? They're like, wink, 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 with the car. It's very jerky. Like it's the not like a whiplash. Yeah, it's or, just yeah. like it's 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 um the left and right are like pretty hard. You gotta like tap them, and the other thing is like. You really can't ever let go of the speed until you're done, like the acceleration, because it's always just like, like if you yeah. if you let go, it just stops, and she goes like, nah. <laughs> like that, and like the number, no airbags, huh? anyone yeah. else is driving her. It's like, I'll hold this. It's like, and they're like, I don't know, the thing must, I don't know, and like, I'm like, well, it's annoying, and it hurts your thumb, but you just, it's just, you gotta hold the button down. Yeah, you gotta hold the button down. And like I'm like, let me have it, and it's just like butter. 
Yeah. And I have so many times driven her around my neighborhood and I'm like, I'm good at this, finally. <laughs> finally, <laughs> something in the real world, in real life, I'm better at because I play video games all day. It doesn't it doesn't happen very often. It's a pretty obscure reference, but I just watched uh, a Pierce Brosnan James Bond movie, Tomorrow Never Dies, and there's a part in the movie where he gets his new car that he can control with his yeah. phone and then Q can't really do it. He's just like, foot, foot. And it's like, it's too sensitive and he keeps like running into the wall. Mm -hmm. So then James Bond's like, let me try. And he's like, and he's just like, that's fucking idea. James Bond. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, that's like you with Iris. And he's like, yeah. I played a lot yeah. of Goldeneye. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, he did. Don't play it now, though. Play Source. Yeah, play way better. Yeah. OG I've missed no every time you guys have played Source. That was fun the last time we played it. Jeremy was getting pissed off. Well, who'd he play? Like, who, who, like what character? I don't even remember. I don't remember uh, who the fuck I don't remember who he was either. It was just all over the place. Was he a odd doing, job? I can't remember. I don't think he was. We were doing we were doing one of the I games. I can't types. imagine him being pissed off he was playing odd no, job. No, that, that was, was cheap great. As shit. One of the games as you were playing, it was just like the 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 gun cycle. You know, gun like game. you kill with yeah. this and you gotta kill with the next one, the next one, the next one. And he got to the club, which is the worst gun in the game. It's like the really yeah. piece of shit machine gun. And he was just freaking out for like two minutes trying to get because I think you needed two kills with every weapon. And like he must have gotten like nine assists. Where like he just pumped every single bullet into uh, someone, and then he reloaded. And like I took a couple of them. Where I'm like, got that kill. See ya. And he was getting fucking pissed off. It was good. I feel bad because we he basically missed most of Gmod June. Yeah, being out for uh, vacation. You know, that's I've only guys on vacation. Been in how many of us have we filmed? We've shot three. Three. How many? Have, I've been in one. Maybe? You you showed up uh, in probably, probably one and a half. Murder, maybe. Half of murder. So I yeah. was in half of murder because yeah. I showed up and just invited myself. Oh, that's yeah. right. But yes. I think I was in yes. one before yes. that, yes. like a Guess Who or something. Trouble in Town, and then yes. yeah, before that was Guess Who. That yeah. one that one already came out. Guess yes, who. that was the first one. Trouble in Town. So I'm I'm happy to get to be in one and a half of those. Do we have Themes planned for the next few months or no? It's no, like I mean, if I had a bunch of my head, okay. I'm just waiting for I say no. I still want to do. You go ahead. Well, I'm going to say no, but also to add on that, uh, uh, these weren't planned and they still happen. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> the one that I have planned that I've said, I told Trevor, I said, I want to do this one. He's like, well, that sounds great. We'll do it. And then I'm like, okay, well, should we start filming? He goes, he'll go, uh, no, no, March is good. And I go, okay. And he's like, no, no, April's good. And I go, All right. and then, oh, no, May's good. Now June's good. I want to do a month <laughs> of Sunday driving. Oh, I can't get a yeah. slot. I want to do a Sunday driving every Sunday for a month, and I can't get a slot in the monthly thing because the Mario is always involved. Well, month, I'll put yeah. on a good it's word for you. Gmod's not Mario. What month is good for driving? I don't know. <sighs> we'll have to. I mean, it's I really up to the month. Yeah, yeah, but I was, well, I've, you could do I've already got the I've already Sunday got the driving. Sunday. Picked out. I've, I've, got four, September, Sunday. I've got four yeah, or go. five I could do. September's good for Sunday drives. It's September, right. Sunday. It's a nice time of the year. Nice breeze. Wait on Trevor to let me do it. I feel like he's like, no, that's not a priority right now. September. Oh fuck, smash. Smash September. I feel like yeah, fuck it'd be too good. I feel like um, we kind of did a Sunday driving today without driving. We did. <laughs> yeah. I almost mentioned it at one point. It's very, but in I a good way. It was very, too, I had it was very chill. Yeah. It was a lot of like uh, just, just back and forth, like just, just uh, old podcasty. So kind of, uh, yeah, GTA. Well, what we did, we we desperately need a GTA for next week. We need one for Monday, and we're we're in that we're in that cycle where we're doing a lot of stuff at the same time. So. Half of the people are in. We haven't really talked about this yet. I mean, it was announced when we announced the Michael B. Jordan thing. But half of and the then people, unannounced. yeah, half and then reannounced. Half of the people <laughs> are in Santa Fe filming a new show that we're doing uh, on location. And then, should we cut that? I don't know. Location? I mean, I haven't mentioned. Did this just come out Friday? Yeah. That yeah, will be done by then. Okay. So half the people are yeah, they'll in, be back on are, yeah. are filming in Santa no Fe. Can go kill them. And so the other half are here. And then then some of us leave. Like Jack left today to go to Santa Fe. I go tomorrow. Then everybody goes to E3. So we don't have a lot of staff. So we filmed uh, the four of us. Everybody but Andy. Sorry, I don't know what you, we I don't know where you were. Uh, no, he was just exclusive. I was just, yeah. There's this uh all oh, right, we just we didn't, didn't, we didn't need a fifth person, person doing nothing. Yeah. Uh so there was this like it was this GTA GIF I saw a while back where there's this corner and there's this curve in the game where NPC players will uh, I I assumed all the time but apparently mm. ever so rarely will go take the corner too fast and crash <laughs> and so we just wanted to stand there and watch people crash and, uh, and seemed then, like a good thing to do then we with, tried to figure yeah, out how to help them crash staffed office yeah and so it was just yeah. the four of us trying to get cars to crash for 45 minutes and failing miserably but it was fucking fun to do yeah I hope the audience fun. likes it it was yeah. fun I had a good time yeah. I enjoyed it. I, I feel fun. like they tweaked it. The I tell you what, corner. it did. It, yeah, it's uh, smarter. It, uh, I don't know. it, we might I don't just know. be dumber. I don't know if this is the case for y'all, 
but it gave me a, a, a hankering for uh, an, I, I got an appetite. Give me a hankering for something like a good meal, like a steak, maybe. I got just a thing for you, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> we should play more GTA. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> right after we Minecraft. have some Omaha Steaks. Because this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Father's Day is just around the corner. That's true. So you should get a gift. Are you trying to find the perfect gift? Well, we've just got the thing for you. Omaha Steaks delivers hand-trimmed, flash-frozen, and vacuum-sealed meats directly to your door in an Omaha Steaks cooler. Can I There's, make a... Yeah, uh -huh, go. Don't eat them frozen. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. And I'm going to mind eating a steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's good. You should definitely cook them. There's all sorts of delicious eats to choose from. Pork, poultry, lamb, vegetables, and more. Everyone in Achievement Hunter loves when we get an Omaha delivery. They send high quality, delicious food right to our door and we love them and we bet our dads would love them too. I know for a fact my dad uh, did love it because I bought him Omaha steaks uh, like every year. Oh when really? I, uh -huh, when I lived in New Jersey, that was my go-to. Uh, New Jersey meat, not so good, you know? And we don't, you even got like the Texas meat, you know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's all right. But uh, no, I years and years, every like Father's Day, birthday, Christmas, he got he got like a Sopranos DVD or he got Omaha steaks, and <laughs> I liked either because I got to watch the show or eat the food. Yeah, so yep. it was really a gift for myself at the same time. So you know, you buy it for your dad. Just make sure he cooks it when you know you're. Oh, oh I'm gonna stay for dinner tonight. Also, here, make this food for me. You get to eat it. He cooks it for you. He has to do all the work. It's, it's <laughs> honestly, it's great. It's it's a great strategy. Right now, there's how much steaks. I love you for making a fucking steak. <laughs> yeah, and, but uh, uh, dad. Uh, right now, Omaha Steaks is giving a limited time offer to our audience for Father's Day at 78% off. This really is an amazing deal. Go to omahasteaks.com and type off, cop off topic in the search bar, and you can get this Omaha Steaks Father's Day package, which includes two tender filet mignons, two beefy top sirloins, four chicken fried steaks, two boneless pork chops, four all-beef Omaha steak burgers, four gourmet jumbo franks, 12 ounces of all-beef meatballs, one pound of steakhouse fries, four caramel apple tartlets, those are delicious by the way, one Omaha Steaks seasoning packet, plus get four more grill-ready Omaha Steak burgers free with purchase. Again, get this limited time package for only $49.99 when you go to omahasteaks.com, type off topic in the search bar and add the Father's Day package to your cart. Don't wait, this offer ends soon. OmahaSteaks.com, type off topic in the search bar, grab your dad, and fire up the grill, and then, you know, make him cook it. Yeah. <laughs> or, your, you know, or your mom, you know, whoever wants to cook it for you, brother. Maybe you're like me, you were raised fine. by women. So, yeah. yep. you, that Father's Day presents go to your mom. You know, that was me. Yeah. Ma Mother's Mother. Day. Mother's yeah. Day. I, uh, Boom. Coined it. I was, have that one. I was ready to hop in if you got law. I did that ad read the other day uh -huh. for a... Uh, I would think that's yeah, I had it all in my head yeah, still, mm -hmm. so I was ready to jump in if you had it. Mm -hmm. I saw you had my back. Yeah. I, I remember the price um, and everything. Yeah. I remember the extra hamburgers at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's a like, fucking mm -hmm. great deal. Yeah, it really, really is. It's a really good deal. Yeah. It's, I've been, I might actually I've buy like, myself that because like, no one in my kids are like, buy it for you. Well, the kids they don't have credit cards yet, so it's a problem there, but. You need to get on that. Give them I have a, so you can get that's, gifts. that's yeah. how you get good gifts. I'll tell you you this. Give them money to give you good gifts. Or another <laughs> way, another way you want some delicious Omaha steaks, let Andy live with you for 10 months and then his mother will send you steaks forever. Yeah, it's true. Like, every, like, he's still guilty about that. Every yeah. three months I get, yeah. wow. I get steaks from his mother. Yeah. It's forever. It's life. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> it's a subscription. It's, like, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like, I, know I, say, I, said that, I know I say this every quarter, but once again, thank you for taking yeah. him away. She does? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, honestly, yep. no one puts up with him. Yeah. It's just, it blows my mind. He's not kicking. Only did you get him out of the house, but you got him way out of the house. I got him way out of the house. Miles away. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's, there's I, almost I, across the country. Now. We're almost, we're almost at the point now where the stakes have made up for Andy living. <laughs> almost. It's like almost even. So yeah. I'm gonna come out net positive. <laughs> Eventually. This thing. Eventually, it'll take some. Unless time. she knows exactly what it was yeah. worth. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. she she that. That. I can understand. She gets a note. She's like, again, thank you for watching, Andy. This. Will be the last package. <laughs> yeah, we are now eating. Yeah, I have fulfilled the payment. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We're squared. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all good. <laughs> have you guys, great gifts. Have you guys seen uh, Action Point yet? No, I haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. I saw it. What is that? What is that? It, 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 it was the new Johnny Knoxville, Knoxville movie. Like, it is. I've all sort of yeah, movie. Yeah, well, it's like half. It's like. Is it like that bad grandpa a, prequel? Yeah, it looked like. Well, it's not a prequel, but it, it, what it is, it, it's that it is that. There's a script. Yeah, and there's a there's a plot, but then it's all. Real, Real stuff. It's like it's okay. like it's like a loosely scripted jackass. Okay. Or rather, I shouldn't say loosely. It's a scripted jackass. The problem I had with it 
was that um, the the stunt to script ratio was off. Okay. So there was way too much story and not enough stunt, and right. the story wasn't mm-hmm. good enough, and the mm-hmm. acting wasn't good enough to make up for the fact that there was a there was a deficient amount of stunts. Because yeah. what was there was amazing, but um, yeah, and then he had like a bad wig on the whole. Because that was bad. And he's grandpa. great, and I love him. And you just see that guy on camera. I don't know. You just see that guy on camera, <laughs> and you're happy. I, like, I personally, like Johnny Knoxville is like one of my heroes. Mm-hmm. So getting to just see him for two hours on on. So the screen is great, but I wish that there would have been like four more stunts. I don't know if his body could have taken it. Is this dick yeah. still That's... broken? Like the catheter thing? No, no like, I, heard him on, I heard him on Heartstone the other day. He had to self-catheter for three and a half years. Yeah. He doesn't anymore. He's done. And I found out that the reason he had to self-catheter is even worse. It wasn't that his dick doesn't pee, but it's that there was some problem inside his dick hole where they were afraid that if he didn't self-catheter every time he peed, his hole would close up and he'd never be able to pee again. Oh. So he had to do it to keep the hole open. So it's basically oh it's like jamming uh. it open. So every time he peed for three and a half years, he had to self-catheter. Jesus. And he talked Ooh. about how like trials and tribulations of that, one of the worst things he said uh, was that – um, the worst part about it was you have to lube up because if you don't, you'll scratch yourself, which makes yeah, sense. Inside of your but if you forget yeah. to lube up, yes. you'll just so – he said sometimes he would wake up at like 4 in the morning right. wet, like he had a wet dream or something. Sure. He would look down and he'd just be covered in blood. Oh, my God. Because he forgot to lube and he would just he would just slowly bleed out all of, oh. out of his dick. That's what happens Ugh. when you try to front flip a motorcycle in the desert and Ugh. you're not a f- motorcycle front flip. On the other hand, he's Ugh. now way into sounding. That's what you get for going outside. <laughs> he's been doing it. He's, he's probably sounded more than any like, other person on earth. I mean, you don't have to do like, that. You have to three, stick something in your dick. Three and a half couch. years? Couldn't he, you just get like a colostomy bag? Know, Wouldn't that dude. be easier? His like, fucking just eyeball. Have a permanent thing? He wants but to on the set of Action Point, which is why I wanted it to be better because of the pain that he went through, He his eyeball popped out twice. Ooh. He fucking broke like, four okay. ribs, Throughout. broke his wrist. He said he got hurt more on Action Point than the entirety of his career up until did, that point. Did he talk about his eyeball popping out? I'm, yeah. I'm, okay. Did he say if he could see with it? He out said or he not? went blind. Okay, so it was just completely. Christ. Yeah, I think right. so. From that. And then when he, when he popped back in and he could wondered. see again, it was just like he could. It was just like he couldn't see. He saw like. Hazy colors, but uh-huh. he couldn't see or so it, it has focus to be like on anything firmly connected. for about a day out. after that. How far out does it? I don't know. Does it go? I don't know. You want to try? Can it get all the way uh-huh. out? Can you get yeah, like onto can. the cheek? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can. yeah. I don't think it got that far out. Yeah, you can to, do that. He said like instinct just pops in, and like before you even realize you're doing it, you're just like it's like uh, uh, and you just push back in. Oh my god! I don't know. Like, what did I just do? Yeah. Oh my god! I know. You must have trouble believing that you just did that. I I just shoved my eye back in. Do you have my eye? Do you have to like put your eyelid around? But it's like yeah, that's like or does your eyelid just open up to it? No, I couldn't do that. Like your human instinct takes over, right? Like that night that I that I fucked up my thumb when I got the scar yeah, and I, I, I punched and I, I looked down and I saw all my tendons hanging out. Like, I was like I'm at sorry, the hospital man. and getting care before I realized what I'd done. Like I just like I just used my I just went calm and I went and I grabbed the towel and I wrapped it around my hand and I got my car keys and I just drove to the hospital you know? and admitted myself to the emergency room and and then you like you hit a poem in the you were like where how did it, Oh, I guess I, I guess Which, I just I, autopiloted I think, my way there. I think you're right, actually, because when my knee like popped out, I'm I just kind of like water. looked at Fuck and I was this. like, "That's a that's wrong." Ugh. Yeah, and then, like, I immediately sat back down, fix like, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, the only thing about that is I'm kind of I'm Retail sad that landing. you didn't get to have a moment, or maybe you did, where you went up to the, the admitting nurse and they're usually like, "Ah, what's wrong with you? You got a boo boo?" And you're like, "Look, you can see <laughs> I the inside." Yeah, I went like I was like, eh. and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. "All right, <laughs> all right." You don't have to wait. <laughs> it's like you need to have that injury, or you just tell them, I have chest pains. You go right in. Mm, mm, mm. It's, there, there's a guy Dude, with. Sir, a, sir, let me see your heart. No, it's, it's not. There's that. a guy right. with his arm twisted, like upside down, backwards, broken in three places. And they're like, there's the chair, sir. Yeah. We'll get to you. Wait, hell. If you're like, oh, oh my, I don't know, I just got some pain in my chest. They're like, come this right this way. Here you yeah. go. That's how I got a sweet $11,000 bill like three years ago. I uh, drank a really fizzy what? soda. Also, my arm's mm-hmm. broken. Yeah. <laughs> No, this, is a, this is a couple of years ago. I was having like what I thought was like chest pains. Did you say eleven thousand dollars? Oh, I went Christ. to the hospital. It was like you um, had our insurance, right? Mm-hmm. It was like well, well that was that was before the insurance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That wasn't um, out of pocket. That's it was still like a grand. Yeah. That's welcome to America. Yeah. Um, but I, Lindsay was like, you know, I have like um, like heart problems in my family. So she was like, well, we're going to the fucking hospital. We're gonna go. And I was like, oh my god. She like. Drag me there. It was like midnight. I went in. Literally, I was shocked. Walked right in, walked in, talked to the nurses. 
like walked right back, like didn't even didn't even sit down. And there was people waiting, like, you know, nail in the head or whatever. It's like the like <laughs> I fucked up, but I'm not gonna uh, die. I just fucked up. He's like sitting here. Him right the head. Nah, the, that guy's a plant. They keep the nail in the head guy <laughs> there so that everyone else can be like, well, that guy's waiting. I might as well. Yeah, do they're that. like, sir, take your time. Right? There are people with more dire you problems. See that guy? Yeah, that's true. That's the true. pit bulldog is still on the woman's neck. You see that? Imagine what we got in the back. But I was there. I don't know, three hours. They like ran all sorts of tests. Took my blood. Did a million fucking things, and they were like, "No, you're good. It's you know probably just like muscular, you have like a sore Deficiency like muscle. No, it was just like it was just like a muscle soreness, but it was like right over my chest, so I didn't know if it was like a Your cardiovascular heart, sure. thing. And uh, this is before I ever started going to the gym, so like I didn't, I wasn't familiar with like like I hadn't done anything, but I must have just pulled something, probably doing something stupid at work, but I just wasn't familiar with like the difference between like soreness and like aching like uh, muscle pains and shit and i was just like i don't know my chest is killing me so i left it like i wasn't even there overnight i left at like three four in the morning and i got the bill and it was like ten thousand eight hundred dollars and i think i ended up paying like a thousand out of pocket or something and i, I was like oh thank god yeah it was like thank god it was only a thousand dollars that's like cut to like two I mean, it was like four years ago. It's like two years ago when we were in Australia and Lindsay busted her fucking lip open on the immersion. And we had to go to the ER in Australia. And the guy like he 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 uh did the whole thing there, like give her some stitches, all this and that, blah, 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 blah. Walked out, it was like $112. That's how much it cost. The whole fucking thing. And people in Australia, because that was that was the night of the fucking laser team premiere. I was late, I missed the movie because we were at the ER. I get there and I'm telling people in Australia, like, oh, yeah, it was like $112. And they're like, that's ridiculous. That's so expensive. That's crazy. And I was like, what the fuck are you, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> right, about? Right, you have no yeah. idea what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Talking the about out of country it. rates, all right? It's right. like, uh, <laughs> they were like, they were like, I, in the hospital before they told me how much it was. And they were like, this bill needs to be cleared before you leave. And I was like, oh my God, like, what, what is it? And they're like, Check the fine print. This is one hundred and twelve dollars. <laughs> okay, is that okay. it? That's that's like the cost of a fucking band aid in America. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's crazy. The band aid would cost you one hundred twelve dollars, and the, the application, and the, the application the would be ten thousand dollars, forty thousand. Yeah, yeah. would be. We'll fix her, but we get to keep her. While we're speaking about medical stuff, yeah. um, I, I'm, I I don't want to get too deep into this, but you like Gu animal. Gus and Frank, and I have a friend who's in the hospital right now who's not doing well. Um. An old friend, no, no, no relationship to Rooster Teeth in any way, just a friend that predates that. Um, and our friend is not not doing well. But uh, his family is going through something that has never crossed my mind before. And I want to do this almost as a public service announcement because I'm watching the distress that they're going through. Where you – everybody who – everybody alive should write down every password they have for every piece of equipment and put it someplace – and tell a loved one where it is, because this friend of ours who is not in a position to uh, tell passwords, his all of his computers, his phones, everything are locked down, and no one in his family can get into it. And it never struck me that that could be a problem that people mm -hmm. deal with, but that sucks. And so everybody, this is my this is Jeff's public service now. Early the, the part one of the podcast was Jeff wants you to. Uh, Expand your your comfort zone. Well, actually, uh, part one your was, part one was basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Yeah. The part this part, part could be is part of write down every important every important password or piece of information that only you know, and put it in a safe or somewhere safe, and make sure some person in your life knows where it is. Because if you're not able to uh, to relay that information, like God forbid, if you die in a car accident or whatever, it causes a lot of problems for your family down the road. And wow. photos, yeah. important documents, everything is lost. And it becomes a whole fucking nightmare for a, a poor family who's trying to deal with the, the loss of a, of a loved one, one would assume, uh, to also have to be on the phone with tech support trying to figure out how to get into your locked iPhone. I wonder how that works from a, like a legal standpoint. Once you die, I mean, if it were physical documents, then whoever inherited all your stuff would like just next get all your physical yeah, stuff. I, I don't but know. digitally... Do they, are they entitled to all of your emails and things like that? I guess they maybe. Want them? I, you know, there yeah. could be lots of like bad yeah. information. Yeah, there could be like a lot of that. important information. Investment there. stuff. And, yeah. But I'm yeah. using email wrong, clearly. Oh, you got to have something yeah. in there of value. I mean, like a Neopets password from like years ago. There you maybe, go. Maybe you know. they need that. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't fed them for years. And look, you write like that Neopets like password down can't, somewhere. Can't grasp basketball. Yeah. I You're too it. busy that with Neopets. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, password. Dude, I also I, mean, chase, I, right? I was on that yeah. site at one point. Yeah, I mean, I never got into Neopets. What a Steam library I have to pass down to somebody. <laughs> right, yeah. dude, dude. Dude, are you kidding me? Like Xbox alone, 
on yeah. the Xbox One, like with backwards compatible, I have like 300 games. It's like not an exaggeration. I wonder how and long. 250 are probably shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder how long after my death it would take for my sister to change my gamer tag to hers. Why would she? Well, because then she inherits all the games and then the gamer score as well. I mean, all she, she needs all she, yeah. she, she just takes like your identity. identity. Yeah. But all she yeah, needs is exactly. she, just all she needs is her Xbox, though, really. Well, yeah, but I guess it's true. As long as it's your home Xbox, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but then the if it dies, what are you going to do? Oh, That's shit. The thing. I don't know how that works. But you have to kill you her before you die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't risk this. There can be only one brag. Right. Man, that home stuff is really useful. It is. For For like, if you have multiple family members like playing video games, mm-hmm. like that's mm-hmm. an insane or amount kids. of money that shit that, that saves you. Yeah. Yeah. Well it's like I only How buy much is the Xbox Live home? Game now. Uh, isn't that what it is? It's what? like you can like an like, you can get like Xbox Live for like five people. Is that what it is or no? No, what? it's it's any no, home is just like anyone on your home Xbox has access to all your games. Oh yeah, I know that. Isn't there like a family and subscription Xbox for like gold Live. as well? Xbox Live family? Well, I mean, they're, they're, Xbox they're Live be. family's gone. They, they got, oh, is it? Oh, is it? Yeah. oh, wow. Okay. I got rid of it years ago. You can still share your Xbox. I still have a like a legacy thing because Millie was a part of it, but hmm. yeah, that, they're, they're done with that program. Yeah, but no, the home I think the only thing that persists great. is the email addresses. That's how I played a lot of the games when I was staying with you. That was, was like, like you everything, everything I got, which like I bought it, so then I was like, I have like fucking eight Xboxes in my house. Like Andy had one, so I gave him my home Xbox, so it's like anything I owned he could play. And then combined with like getting shit for work, it's like, well, I got this game free, and now you're playing it for free. So we played Gears of War. So that was like Gears of War. Like I had, I had a code for Gears of War Remastered. Fucking incredible game. Gears yep. of War One is so good. It's so good on the Xbox One. And I got, we got that code like two weeks early, like a week early. So and it was just a digital code. So I'm like, I don't see why this wouldn't work. Like I took it home. I downloaded it on my home Xbox. I downloaded it on another Xbox. Andy played it on the home and he could play it because I owned it. And then I played it because it's my gamer tag. And I'm like, we're playing, we're both playing co-op, a game that's not out yet that neither one of us have a physical copy to. I yeah. fucking love this. I love this. It was great. That's, that's, it's just so convenient. And, then, so we, and then we played four. Has, Ryan, did you download <laughs> Vampire yet? Mm-mm. Did you buy it? What not yet, no. I've it's, heard about that game. It's a no. new game that just hit this week. That's like it's like the only thing out right now. Vampire with a Y. With a Y, yeah. yeah. With a y. And people seem excited about it. Vampire. So I'm kind of. Vampire. I haven't played a single player no. game in a year, probably. And so I was thinking about kind of getting the itch. And I was thinking about maybe no. giving it a shot. Yeah, I just started. What's it for? Like, people seem excited about it. for everything. Okay. Yeah. We uh, we just started. PS4 Let's watch it. Um, which God, I just thought about it. I had probably hadn't played Let's Watch since Crash. Yeah. Like months. Um, but we just started playing Detroit. I'm editing that right now. PS4, yeah. and uh, I'm really. Uh, I don't into know it if we got an ending so to that video yet. <laughs> I mean, oh, we really don't. Mean? It, co- it comes out on Thursday. Well, no, what it's just. It? I mean, that's just like we're halfway through it. Okay. We're, we're in the no, middle uh, of a storyline. It's like I gotta go get my. Kids. No, I mean that's part one. <laughs> okay, I mean, so it's a that's, full video. That's a full video. That's fine. It's okay. Just okay. Like we'll yeah. have to do at least. Like this, I seriously doubt we're gonna play the whole game. It's just it's gonna be one of those fucking huge games. It's like 13, 16 hours. Yeah, Ooh, but yeah. but we're just it's trying like to get through at least like the intro. Sort of so yeah. I assume that'll be two parts, you know, and maybe people fucking it's love difficult it. game we'll to one. find out where to put the webcam because there's a lot of like there's shit all over the place. Right, yeah. I'm just like I'm imagine, moving in. And I'm just like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna like put it in one spot and then just try maybe to work. We should get a green screen for some of those so we can have because we talked about it's less intrusive. I thought that was why we had the wall painted green. No. no. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Never mind. Oops. I mean, we painted the, the wall green to have. Why did we paint the wall green? It was originally where there were some thoughts of like Awu oh, maybe would have. Yeah. Green. Those thoughts were quickly dashed. And then we covered the wall with stuff immediately. We <laughs> threw a white whiteboard on it and, within a yeah, week. Yeah. And then there's holes. Remember, in also, and, remember when yeah. they put the wood up that no one asked for? Yeah. Oh, you, nice you didn't wood, like though. that wood? Like that wood? I don't think we'd love, we didn't ask for it. And it was like, I remember we walked into the room. It's like a very Austin aesthetic. I think Marcus yeah. may have talked to me about but it. But the thing was, like, we walked into the room, it was completely empty, and then there was wood, like, on one fifth of the wall. And we were all like, why? Should there be more? Because that was or... what we could afford. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, why is there just There's some wood on this wall? Sirola, he's sirolling in. Come over and have a beer, buddy. Damn, has anyone ever said that? <laughs> Has anyone ever said you used to roll in somewhere? Times ever been said. Wow. <laughs> I was just telling the guys, uh, right I, my PSA of the day is write down all your passwords to everything important and put them someplace safe and tell a loved one. Because I was talking about the issue yeah. that we saw Monday. And without getting too into there, it. There's more secure ways to do that. Like yeah? No, I was thinking that when he well. said that, but I don't care. I would love to hear the Gus smarter way to do it. Uh, well, I don't want to get too into it because then people will know how I do it. 
Oh, <laughs> just no. There are options. There are smarter go- options. You can Google it, and you can probably find your own way to do it. That's uh, <laughs> not writing it down on a piece of paper. You talk. Oh, you no. write it down. And you put it under the keyboard. Right. Label maker. It's like the key under the doormat. You write it down. You put it in a chest. Bury the chest somewhere. You get a really complicated tattoo. Yeah. It's all in there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Gus and I got lunch together yesterday for the first time in maybe four years. It was romantic. It was yeah. beautiful. That's nice. It was, free- someone it was, it was, free- it was a matter of circumstance. What's that? Yeah. 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 I don't think it was related, but someone went, what? Over there. <laughs> no, we don't ever eat lunch together anymore. It was it, nice. It was Freebirds. It was good. I had a lovely time. You went to yeah. Freebirds? Eh. Ryan's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I thought that yeah. eh was for delicious. It was a beautiful <laughs> moment. Yeah. There's a lot of Freebirds. I do you not like Freebirds in general? Because they gave me food poisoning. Oh, that's right. That'll do it. That's right. That puts you on things. I've eaten hamburgers for like a decade because of food poisoning. I'll give you that. There's some Especially foods you, you kind of get over it, birds. but yeah. Yeah. when you guys Google that and find the the, the number one return, the which way. is that is 100 percent Gus's way. I don't know why he's being secret about it. <laughs> just you look at that and go, oh, that's how Gus did it. Okay, I know that now. I mean, find you find the you, you, you stuff to like LastPass and just have all your passwords in there. You only have one password. Yet. You know who loves yeah. LastPass? Jack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know why you don't have LastPass? Jack. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I see this happening in the room, and I love it. And I feel like no one knows what's the deal with LastPass. It's just it, well, it's just a deal with Jack. It's more of a difference between it, it's just a relationship to Jack. And I Where have. Jack's just like, you gotta do this. It's and great for like, the more up, Jack but... likes something, the less I can. Oh, that's hilarious. You, you, you oh, yeah. totally. yourself so many services and TV shows. I have. Because yeah. Jack, stop going. talking about stuff. I avoided Breaking I Bad for like three years. Same. Jack. Same. <laughs> he just fires in. He's like, oh, dude, Breaking Bad. Like, did you see the episode? And then Gus was in it. Oh, man. And then his skull was out. And I was like. I remember, I remember, like, fortunately for me, watching Breaking Bad, uh, Jack was super into it, and I think you were already watching it at that point, by the time, like, uh, I just, uh, he wore me down. And he wore you down. And I remember, like, early-ish days of Achievement Hunter, because I wasn't watching it, and it was, must have been, like, around season four. I literally didn't start watching the show until season six. It was, mm. it was amazing. I started watching the show, I binged it, it was on Netflix, I watched every single episode they had, everything they had. Finished it and then uh, transitioned to like the live television episodes. episodes, the live episodes in my own order, just like not worrying about anything, just starting it. We finished the show like four days after it ended, starting in season six. So it was like this great thing of like I got I got the full payoff, you know, where everyone's like, did you see the finale? You see the finale? And I'm like, yeah, I did. I did. And then like people have been watching it for six years and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I've been watching it for a month and a half. It was a great ride. <laughs> yeah. And it was whoop, and it was over. That was it. I watched like every day. We'd come home from work and watch Breaking Bad, like two or three episodes. And we just got through every single season. It's a fucking amazing show. It's great for binging. Um, but like every episode. I'd be watching it, and I'd get to a point, or not every episode, but occasionally I'd be watching it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, on the roof. that's what that's fucking what Jack was about. going on about. Oh, on the roof, pizza on the roof. And I'm just like, <laughs> well, when, he walked, when he walked out, like the bomb went off, and then he walked out. Oh, speaking of Breaking Bad, I have a new show to recommend. <laughs> no? This show's awesome. Uh, it's called X on the Beach. It's an MTV show. Oh, yeah, you mentioned right. this. I'm this to you, but mm-hmm. I'm going to tell them in the video now. Uh, tell the other people that aren't going to watch there's, it. There's like 10 people. Like ten people or so, they t- they take them uh, singles. They take them. They put them on an island, Andy, in a mansion. Okay. And, or not, well, Hawaii's an island. Says so they put them in Hawaii, and, uh, and they have to escape the volcano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> right. And, uh, that's a, and that's they, a survivor. Uh, <laughs> they go. Uh, they go. Hey, we're going to help you find love. You like? It's kind of like Love Island, where they just pair people together, and they're like, "See who you fall in love with on the island, and at the end, maybe you'll have a sexual partner for the rest of your life, or whatever." Hmm. And uh, that's but the then. Uh, about you know early uh, early yes. on in the first episode, they'll go, "Hey, you three people, let's go to the beach." And they're like, "All right, I guess we get a cool thing. Let's go to the beach." And they go and they sit in a lawn chair in the beach, and then Romeo comes out. Who's Romeo? He used to be Lil Romeo. Now he's Romeo. Oh, he's oh, oh he dropped Lil. He dropped Lil. He's Everybody just dropping okay. Lil. And he goes, uh, "Hey, I got a surprise for you. Uh, it's all your ex girlfriends and boyfriends." They're on the island now with us too. Boom, and they just show up, and they're like, "Mother, fuck you! I'm gonna ruin your life." And and then they all have to live together. <laughs> yes. And then every episode they had, they all get the the original people, the the normies, 
uh, they vote off. They get to vote off one X, and then Whoa. I'm like four episodes in, and there's already one person that's had like three X's come through. Like you would think they <laughs> spread it out even, but they don't. There was a dude who had two X's, and he was trying to. He was meeting a new girl, trying to hook up with a new girl, while both of his X's were there. Oh my At the God. same time, phenomenal television. <laughs> yes. Whew. I mean, does, do the X's get to? You have some say over what he's doing? How does the X factor into this? They get to yell they get to just and scream run their mouths, fucking right. fight. Yeah, and so they, they get to be like, fine, I'm going to go fuck that guy. And the guy's okay. like, oh, uh, it's, okay, it's yeah, it's awesome. Not and everybody's, you everybody's heartbroken. And because they're yeah, all like, don't fuck that guy. People in their 20s, right? Because they're all, they they're all MTV dipshits yep. that have all been on like the challenge or road rules or are you the oh, one no, so they all know no, each yeah. other so they're all like there's they all these all like been fucking already there's all these like love triangles that are like like hexagons they're like okay. he doesn't like him because he slept with his girlfriend and then his best friend's girlfriend slept with her and then it's just like it's like a, it's like chart. an episode of CSI yeah, it's yeah. like yeah different color strings and so everybody hates everybody and they're all fighting and it's fucking awesome and then everyone bangs Romeo but do they have to do Imagine. anything like is there like uh, all right now you got to do the challenge part or is so, it just like so far drama? what yeah. there is mm. is there's the <laughs> Shelter of Secrets or the shelter. There's a, it's an SOS, the something of secrets. Shed of secrets or Change shelter of shack. secrets or shack. Shelter sounds better than shed or it's shack. It's the fucking dumbest yeah. thing ever. In the middle of the living room in this mansion, there's a tube that looks like the tube you like you like put your fucking check <laughs> deposit on. <laughs> <Yeah. stuff laughs> right. oh, wow. yeah. That goes down into the ground. It's the dumbest looking elevator ever. And in that is the shed of secrets the or whatever. Cone of silence. And uh, and in there, you like two people get called, they have to go in there, and it could be a good or a bad thing, but it's always, <laughs> always a bad thing. <laughs> the best one I've seen so far, the first one, is it was a dude and his ex-girlfriend. They had to go down there together, and then because they confiscate all your shit before you go in, they had his phone unlocked and she got to look at through his text messages for seven oh, minutes. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's harsh. And she's like, so you were lying here. Oh, you were you did fuck that bitch in New York. Okay. Yeah. So you're lying about that too. Wow. But it was awesome. And you're just like, and the guy's like, ah. Uh, like he, he breaks down, you know, like he just turns off as a human. <laughs> Does he get to look at her phone? Like, no, 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 no. I'm like, ooh. It was fucking awesome. Like one of them was Fuck. this this dude, the Damn. dude that had two X's at the same time. That's good TV. He's yeah. some dipshit DJ from like he lives in Vegas, right? Sorry, international from Jersey, DJ. Sure. And uh he, one of his exes, he broke up with her because she fucked his uncle. And he's like, wow. bitch, you fucked my uncle. And she's like, I didn't have sex with the uncle. So when they had to go down into the, the shack of secrets or whatever it was, she had took a lie detector test and found out she didn't have sex with his uncle. And he's like, oh, we're Whoa. good, babe. Or she's she really, or she really smirched her name it be a good throughout, or it's a bullshit. Or the show is like, yeah. yeah. like, all right, calm I would put no faith on TV. Regardless, yeah. legit. Regardless, I, no, it's, it's a lot. Doing a it's a lot. Right. It's really fun, bad TV. They're like, did do you watch Melrose Place? No. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I've always been insanely curious about how easy it is to be a lie detector. I mean, people do. Yeah, it. I'd like to figure that out, too. People someone, do it. Like, someone not was for telling any me, reason. Just, right. yeah, you know. Apparently, uh, I have a friend that uh, was I was talking about this the other day with, uh, we were talking about Evil Genius, yeah. like that Netflix yeah. documentary mm -hmm. I think yep. we've all watched now. He beat it. Yep. At some point, he beat it, apparently because he took a bunch of Ambien or something, and he was like really tired. Did he become And racist? lowers his like blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like low, low, and and so apparently that's a, a, yeah, a, a well, way to really beat. Like what they... You're talking about Bill Roth's Like drowsiness? Yeah, what they, what they... Like a way to get around uh, those uh, tests is to like dose yourself so that you're really... Okay, because really, really it's, really it's all your reaction. It's, 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 it's like, yeah. it's how your heart rate goes up. So that's what they test. So if you just like chemically make sure your heart rate doesn't go up. Also, if you're like a sociopath. Also, if you're yeah, a sociopath. If, if, you, like, really if you believe what you're saying, yeah. then yeah. That's the Costanza. Yeah. Or Jerry. Don't, or don't care. Like yeah, you don't that, feel. Right. Right. You, you have, have no, no empathy. Feeling. Right. Yeah. Just, See, for me, though, I get nervous for everything. So I'd be like, what's your name, Andrew? Yes. And be like, <laughs> it's true. You would have no basis. Like, 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 oh, is this no. why it's just lie like, detectors in America? Not admissible in court. Well, like, crippling other, anxiety. The other thing is, the other method I've heard, and I think this would sound way less fun than Ambien, uh, is that you put, like, a fucking tack in your shoe. And every oh. time you answer a question you where like, you're telling the truth, yeah. you, like, step on the tack. So it, you're, you're, like, reacting to the pain physiologically. Ah. <laughs> 
Whereas when you're lying, you just don't. And so that'd it's be really obvious. You, on the oh, way okay. baseline is yeah. fucked up. Oh, that's really pretty really good. That's smart. On the way out, though, because you'd be like, ow, <laughs> ow. Thanks uh, 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 for doing uh, this, guys. Ow. Just when, walk on your heel. When you give Ryan a lie detector test, make sure his shoes are off. Sir, take your shoes off. Well, that's see what I was always curious about is because again, you know, if you like, I've done some. In theater, you are frequently you say things that you don't actually mean or think, um, and so I'm always curious if you could just if someone's okay, he says like, all right, did you steal the thing? And if you're like, I'm answering a different question. Sure. Yeah. Right. Like, did I walk if, to the park today? It's true. No. And like, does that work? You, you I, can. I think it must. No, you can, but it's I, obviously it's way more of a brain thing. Like yeah. that's yeah. you need your entire uh, uh, like I don't even know how to even describe it like. Uh, like you said, it, it bases on like your your heart rate or yeah, whatever the fuck yeah. it is. Like, you somehow need to uh, send that signal from your brain to the rest of your body, which I think is not really a normal human thing. I think that's why like more like crazy people and serial killers do it more often because they're fucking weird and they're wired incorrectly. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, I didn't do that. And then their body's just like, yeah. and it's just nothing. See, if I use that, I would like have trouble trying to come up with the other question in my head. Like, uh, what's a good question to respond to this? You would be yeah. awful. You would yeah. just be terrible. I'm just, I'm just not good at on the spot thinking. Yeah, I'm just, your question should be to yourself. Can I come up with a good question? No, done. Oh, yes, there it is. Yourself. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you have it all the time. Nailed it. Am I smart enough? Am I smart enough to beat this test? No, got it. Yes. I don't know. Maybe I think if you just shut down, though, you you could probably get by it. Well, I mean, I think yeah, that's the that's, that's exactly the ambient thing where it's like, of like yeah. it will shut you down. That's. Uh, probably a pretty difficult thing to just do as a normal person and be like, oh, I just won't react in any way. One like, like, most of your body yeah, is involuntary. Hard. You don't choose to like spike your heart rate or right. lower it yeah. and you shit like really that. And again, that. I'd say with, for the people it, who, I mean, you can yeah. feel it happening, yeah. yeah, but it's like, oh, that's when you go, oh, shit. And then you, <laughs> right. you see, those <laughs> yeah. are all the scribbles. It's like, like, oh, oh. like you just have like a micro. Is that a lie? No, you calm down. Stop that. Don't, don't, don't lie. Don't let them know. Maybe they, do they still have the analog thing for that, or I mean, you assume by now it'd be all I digital? Mean, but I feel like yeah. they having it would be great just to have that. Yeah. It's so you need the sound, the, yeah. the scribbling right. the paper. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, well, then, that's where the drama just, comes that's from. That's when they you just got you. Yeah. to being like, oh, I was uh, I was bumping the table the whole time, you know? <laughs> Whoops, uh, crazy. I'd be like, I was just thinking of the scary movie I watched last night. That's all it yeah. is, yeah. dude. I'd like right to right in the say, middle of this conversation. Right. You brought it up. The number of people that have watched Evil Genius, because we talked about it on the podcast. Like, I've been bombarded with it. They all love it. Every response oh, I've ever got. It's awesome. It's like, I love this show. It's so good. <laughs> if you like Evil Genius, you should watch Wild Country, because it's better. What I, yeah? I think so. I think it's a, I think it's a better documentary. There's another multi-part documentary. Made it. It's a, oh, yeah, it's a cool. six-parter versus a four-parter. That's awesome. Well, I'll watch I thought it was better. I mean, it's not is, about... Is it on Netflix? Yeah. Is, is it, it about, about someone getting murdered? That's the one about the cult. Oh, right. I'll watch that. People yeah. do people are, yeah, 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 die. I like I'll cults. That. Oh, yeah. Um, another it's a sex cult. So. Kind of unintended. Oh, uh, I just watched Eyes Wide Shut two nights ago. Oh, what'd you think? That's weird. It was pretty good. Had you never seen it before? I've never seen it before. I knew I knew I knew the concept mm -hmm. and I knew it was Stanley Kubrick's like, last movie and I was like I was it's on Netflix. Nicole Kidman is about as pretty as I've ever seen a woman be in that movie. She's I pretty think. yeah, she's Fidelia, very, just yeah. beautiful. Fidelia, right. Fidelia. Yeah. yeah. I just watched oh, it not too long ago as well. <laughs> yes. I saw it like maybe you, a year ago. No, that's yeah. how you get out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very you know. good. Um, very engaging. That was better than it than it was reviewed and received. Because it's his it's like his lowest rated film. Yeah. But uh another kind of unintended side effect, the number of Vitas I've sold. You, really you got me. Vitas. You got me to take my. I home. mean, I wasn't pushing them. I was just you talking about me having it. I I must be at least ten people, at least. I mean, maybe there's more. To me, that's a lot, though. It's a fucking Vita. It's Are 2018. You to Sony, that's a lot. Right? They're like, like the, the fuck is happening? Right off the chart. My brother visited. He was here for like a little over a week. The day he got here, he bought Vita. That's the first because I just kept they've seen well, in sales. I just kept talking about it. And he was Vita like, history. I'll buy one. He got it on Friday. That's all we did the whole time he was here. Was play fucking Vita. I was gone for six days. Uh, it was his birthday, having a party, and this playing is your good Vita. Brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's probably literally like a graph where it's like, oh, it's off the chart, and the chart's like point one. one point yeah. The point, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's zero to ten sales, yeah. and it just <laughs> like right. passed the ten. What? God, PlayStation. It's just like the 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 store is such a piece of shit. Though it makes no sense at all. First of all, there are tons of games that you can buy and play on the Vita. Not they don't show up if you check the store on the Vita. Like I'm holding the handheld, you go to store, you look up a game, it's not there. Logic would tell you it doesn't. You can't download it. You know that's how Xbox works. You go to download a game, it doesn't exist. You can't download it. Nope. The Vita 
app is just shitty, like the store for the Vita itself. If you go to like a browser, like on a computer, and go to PSN, more games hmm. that you can buy right there, then go back to your Vita, open the store, and go to like your download Install, list, right. and then download them. That alone makes no sense it's, at all. It's the same thing, it's probably for different reasons, but the thing that bugs me about the Amazon app on the Xbox, and uh, the Amazon app on all uh, platforms. Like Prime Video you, ones? Yeah, the Prime Video yeah. ones, is you can't rent movies from it. Or in the ones that you can, you have a very limited selection. But if you go to the website, you can read just about anything. I don't and like then it pops the, yeah. up on your feed. The reason that is, and I don't think it's the case here no, because yeah, that's all first party. The reason it is they do that is because they don't want to share. If the transaction goes through the app, they have to share a cut of the profit. That oh, makes well, that sense. makes sense. That makes um, sense. Which is why they don't that's, do it. Sure. But I don't think that's what's happening. This is just with nonsense. Sony. It's just bad. Design. Then there's another thing of like, there's some games because because they're listed like on the website, like what you can play them on, like PS3, PS Vita, PS4, PSP, whatever. The Vita, as I understood, can play every single PlayStation Classic game, which is like a PS1 game. You can play any PS1 game. And so I bought Metal Gear Solid on the website. And I was like, oh, I'll download that on my Vita later. And then when you go to your download list, it shows every single like PlayStation purchase you have, PS4, everything, like attached to your account. So it'll show it, but be like, you can't download it to this device because it's a PS4 game and you're holding a Vita. But I went to download Metal Gear Solid, I can't download it. I'm like, what the fuck? That's, that's a fucking PlayStation game. Why can't I download it? I'm like, well, that sucks. Like, that's the only game I've actually purchased and I can't play. Like, I bought it for like 10 bucks mm -hmm. and I can't play it on the Vita. So I researched it a little bit. No, nope, you can play that. But in order to play that, and there's a few games like this, you have to download it to your PS3, then plug your Vita into your PS3, transfer it from your PS3, then your Vita, then you're good. The fuck? And I'm like, Why? Sony, what are you doing? It doesn't make any sense. It's just to make sure you have everything. It just makes it's me like, it's right. Right. want it's like, this game. Go buy a PS3. PS3. And I was like, legit, my PS3 has been here at the office for like four years because I let Carrie borrow it. And then by the time he gave it back to me, PS4 was out and I didn't give a shit. You have the fat and one. And I was right? like, the right, I got the one. fat one because it yeah. plays everything. Plays yeah. one yeah. through three. Yep. I was like, I'm going to need to bring this fucking thing home and plug it in just so I can put Metal Gear Solid on my V. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what that. I can't believe the V is not doing well. Are the cables the same for like the, play, like the PS4 hookup and they are for PS3? Or no? I, I don't know. Okay. I thought they Pro changed it. Probably not. They, yeah. I would be surprised if they were. Actually, you, you know, know they call him the Candyman. He's like Trump's doctor. Oh, they do. Watch the Candyman. He'll kill you. Thank you, buddy. Riverdale thing. I feel bad. I didn't get you anyway. It's okay. How did you know that's what I meant? You go to you, any karmic. Because it has sugar in it. You go to you, buddy. Yeah, I gotta go to early now, so I gotta rebook everything. So. Oh, you got your haircut. I do. Look at you. And he found the time. Ryan hasn't Sorry found the time. I haven't, no. So were you there? Yeah, All right. we'll see yeah you. I'll be, I'll, I'm going to the early. So. And this will be out, so I'll already be there, so. Yeah, you're safe. I hope you're, yeah. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> right now? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm fucking blast. Okay. I hope you're having a good time at my party. How are we having a You want a little pop-up? Yeah, I think so. Yes. <laughs> 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 Try and find time. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. You take care. Andy, you're right about Solo. Thank you. I mean, what, you right about what was your comment? I said that uh, it's a really, really fun movie. All in Ehrenreich is better than Donald Glover, and it's more of a Fast and Furious movie set in space than it is a Star's movie. Okay, fair enough. It's a sol it. solid, oh. fun action movie. Was you said Getting better fucking than Donald Glover? The guy who played Han Solo, Alden yeah. Ehrenreich, is better than Donald Glover because I okay. thought that Al Alden Ehrenreich made the role kind of his own. He doesn't really play, a, so it's, it's hard to compare him to Harrison Ford where sure. Donald Glover yeah. is doing a Billy Dee Williams impersonation. Yes, but I th I'm, seen it yet, I'm so still I okay with this in the film. No, I, I thought it was great. Because, I just like all of my Because better. Lando is Lando in the yes. film. Yeah. Like he's already there when, when Han meets him. He's the Lando from the original trilogy and he's just younger and he's already there. Han is not. He, yeah. Like basically this movie is part of the shit he it's goes like how through he gets to that be, makes him Han. Han. I really that we know. It. Yeah, that was really fun. I'll see it at some point. I'll see it tonight. It's struggling. You want to go? Oh yeah, it's, yeah they need the help. Before right? It's gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It uh, may get away. Maybe on the plane real soon. No, <laughs> that's a good point. I'll just see it on the plane. Oh, uh, it would be the first stars movie I didn't see in the theater. In my life. It's a lot of movies. Yeah. First stars movie that's in the theater. Point. What's that? It's a lot of movies. First stars movie that in the theater. Mm -hmm. Did you see this? This, see this was so fucking funny, and it was around when Hulk came out. It's a couple weeks ago now, but. You know, this thing forever. People always rate their Star Wars movies. And it just pisses everybody off. Mm -hmm. You know, they're always like, fuck you, you're wrong. Well, I have different ratings it's for like fun level an... slash rewatchability yeah. slash yeah. quality. It's such an easy. All right. Anyway, go ahead. And the prequels are on. Somebody, Empire. somebody, somebody fucking tweeted. I don't know if it was a comedian or just some dude or whatever, but he was like, 
He was like, here is my Star Wars list. And it was like one through 10. And the guy literally, like, I, I looked at it and went, okay. And it was literally like episode four. The uh, night was it 1977? Yeah, yeah. episode did, yeah. four, 1977. I retweeted this. Episode five, 1980. It was like, and he put numbers. He was like, number one, episode four, 77. Number two, episode two, 80. Literally just listed one through ten, and like almost none of the replies got it. Like he literally just listed them in the in order chronological they order in of chronological the year. Chronological order with the year, and people were like, "What the fuck? You think the fucking prequels better than this? Or you think Han is number twenty? You a fucking idiot? Han Solo is ten? Are you stupid? Oh, Han Solo is better than Rogue One." And, and, then, and like even the guy was like trolling people in replies. Like, somebody, like yeah, I agree with you. Somebody, somebody said to him, somebody said to him something about one of the prequels. I can't remember what it was. Maybe, maybe it was a Rogue it was, One thing. Yeah. But it was like, it was like, I can't believe, it was like, I can't believe you put Phantom Menace as number four. And then the guy replied and he was like, he was like, well, I almost stopped after Return of the Jedi, but then I was like, wait, there's more. <laughs> like, that was like just as there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that set people Star Wars off. films, one in your hope, yeah. How did that do, like, like, like and repeat? It did pretty that, well. Did that go viral? That yeah. went viral. Yeah, yeah You didn't even yeah. say, like, in, in order of favorite no. or anything. No, you just no, said Star Wars. Star Wars just flat out and listed it, and nobody it's got it. It's fucking funny. Like, I would wow. say more than half the people didn't get it, and they were just like, it well, it what the fuck are you talking about? It took me a glance and a half to get it, and I was like, that's really funny. I saw it, and I went, that's funny. Yeah. You, you retweeted it, and that's how I saw it. And I, I was yeah, like, and then everyone. This, is, yeah. this has got to be a joke because Andy wouldn't bother retweeting this. I, yeah, no, it was funny. Yeah. I bet no one complained about where the Last Jedi was on that list. Well, some people like yeah. it. I'm fine with the plot like points it. and the story beat of the Last Jedi. I just did not like the humor. I'm fine with everything that happened. Just don't like the humor. Fine with Space Leia. Fine was with Luke bad. dying. There was I just the humor like was bad. I just found that really fucking boring ass gambling planet. Where that should. Canto Bite wasn't yeah. a fan of Canto Bite. The 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 humor was bad, and I don't like. That it was two seconds after the last one. I don't yes. like that at all. Yep. And I don't like that. To me, it was the most like one, one place Star Wars movie ever. No, it was one it's line. Like, she's on the fucking planet with Luke. Mm -hmm. They're chasing the ships. That's like it. that's it. And I love the, the casino thing. Like hour <laughs> later, and it yeah. was just like go somewhere. Like that's it's again. Just, that's why I loved Han so much or Solo. Because like yeah. it was a fucking adventure. They were yep. like on this planet. A, on this a, planet. It's a great there's, heist. There's, film. there's a heist. They're stealing some shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, double cross. Now they're back over here. Solo like, was just, all over the place. Solo is just so refreshing because there's like no galactic consequences. There's no yeah. huge stakes. It's literally just a fun heist movie. It's also like it's a character. Like movie. there's some stormtroopers and it's like a stormtrooper. All right. <laughs> Right, they took over. Yeah, that's it. Yep. There's nothing to do with the yep. stormtroopers. Yeah. They're not. They're, they're just hardly there. Yeah, they're just like cops. You know, they're yep. just there. They're like, uh, we're, uh, we're the empire. Right, I, get the fucking line. I did like in the Last Jedi. Every time it cut back to that, like the ship that they're, you know, they're chasing the whole movie. Oh, okay, it cuts yeah. back literally to like, up. Oh, we just lost another ship. It's like, yeah. Oh, yep. How many people like, died? Well, how are we in supposed like, to, yeah, in right. the twenty minutes we're gone? Yeah. Yeah, so they got another one. Yep. And, yeah, it was, that's like how they re like, the scene. Just I mean, that's also that the, was also the plot of every episode of Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. That's very, and to me, like Star Wars, that's very... We need to describe the first two seasons of that show. That's Return of the Jedi. That's Luke's really standing there looking out the window. Talk about. Yeah. He's like, hey, they're dying out that's there. That's the best part of the movie. <laughs> but at least it's the end of the trilogy. That's the best part. Love the throne room stuff. The what? But the throne, throne room. room. Oh, that's that's okay. where they're all like, hanging out. The three of them, they're all like... Hey, what yeah. are we gonna do? Yeah. yeah, we got me. We got you. We got your kid. Mm -hmm. What's what's gonna happen? What are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he did not read that room correctly. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. No. He did not. He did not. He went down a hole. <laughs> you should do it. God. Read. Probably. Jeff, you need to take a walk or? I'm okay. You good? I'm good you for sure? right now. Yeah. You need to take a jog or anything? Okay. I get you like a Mentos oh, or? No. Why do I have bad breath? No, just you know, I thought maybe you'd enjoy the flavor. That right. Mentos isn't a sponsor or anything. I'll go get one. <laughs> you know, and just, it's, when I think of like offering someone something like mint, and people like mint, like maybe maybe your own, you like maybe you had something like weird, and then you'll no, I'm fine. I'm drinking beer, so that's would be a bad time for mint. But that's pretty pretty legit. You just whip them out of your pocket. I don't know. They're not like they're like Larry David. They're like a lifesaver. What is that? It's a lifesaver. <laughs> it's a mint lifesaver, not the fruity ones. It's huge. The mint yeah. ones are the best ones. We just got it by the coffee machine. We have tons of. Yeah, them. I'll be honest. I don't. Uh, I don't need fruity lifesavers. Hmm. There's enough other shit. This mm. goes unclaimed. I'll take. You it. know what I mean. Take I mean, it. It's unclaimed it's for now. Yeah. I mean, I'm Apparently not going to the coffee machine. Oh my god. There always has been. 
Oh, look at the time. Hey, did you know that this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Movement? You guys have heard me talk about Movement. You know how those two college dropouts that started their own watch company? Well, this company has grown like crazy, and now with almost 2 million watches sold in 160 plus countries, that's more than 160, at least 161, they continue to revolutionize fashion on the belief that style shouldn't break the bank. Movement has come far from being crowdfunded kids working out of a living room in the past year. They've not only introduced a ton of new watch collections for both men and women, but also expanded to sunglasses and fashion forward bracelets for her. Uh, I like movement. They're very nice, sleek, minimal. I like, I got this, uh, this sweet little, uh, black number here. It's, uh, waterproof for X amount of meters. I don't remember exactly what it is, but enough. Uh, yeah, it's enough. You go in a pool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go deep diving in the ocean with it, but, uh, you know, it can, it can take some hits. Uh, movement watches start at just $95. The department store you're looking at four to five hundred. Movement watches offer classic design with quality construction and styled minimalism. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to movement.com slash off topic. That's mvmt.com slash off topic. See why movement keeps growing. Check out their expanding collection. Go to mvmt.com slash off topic. Join the movement. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. Uh, well, there's, wait, those are pound signs, not asterisks. I'm really sorry about That's that. That's a we're very gonna, We're going to have to redo the ad. Right, we're going to have yeah. to redo the ad. Uh, there's four pound signs. And I then TW. TW. Just as TW under the Trade war. Like, Almost they, like DW. If they needed me to say that. So I said it in case you needed TW. Uh, well, it was sent to you from. Did you say trade war? Yeah, That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> God, I almost brought that up, and you just saw that, and that reminded me. <coughs> so the chick, Trans? Yep. Yeah, the chick that's, Rose. That's unfortunate. That's bullshit. That's what, what? happened. So, what? so Rose, Rose. Cool. she yeah. deleted all of her social media because the fans were giving her death threats. Because what a of, bunch of pricks. Because that's people like, hate the, Rose, the character. The character the Rose is not. She's is not, not the character. Great. Right. Yeah. She's a fucking the fucking actor. Christ. You people are stupid. Yep. Yep. She, she deleted all. Yep. Her, yep. She deleted. She's been dealing with it for a long and time. Motherfucker! If someone walks up to you and says. Gonna be a Star Wars movie? You say yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Nobody like, says no. no. Look what happened yeah. to Jake. Alan Guinness said yes. He fucking hated it. He said yeah. yes. I don't, that's it's, a real shame. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's nonsense. It's not like she wrote the character mm-hmm. at no. all. It, she if you want to get yeah. mad at somebody, there's a writer somewhere that you don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Also, that's, even if yeah, she yeah. did write the character, which she didn't, get over it. Right. It's a fucking movie. Yep. It's a movie. It's a movie. It's not fucking real. Loser. Oh my god. But yeah, she, it wasn't just like, I mean, she'd just been getting harassed for months mm-hmm. and months of people just like either death threats or just like bitching, complaining, like, you ruined my Star Wars, you ruined the movie. She wasn't the problem everything. with that movie at no. all. No, that was the, the, the storyline they sent her on, that was not great. But it's just she, a, it, it had pacing issues, yeah. Internet culture, man. It's them. They just like went after her, too. Yeah. I don't, I just don't get that. I mean, Finn did the entire story with her. Yeah, it's yeah. also like I I like assume the that's yeah. they had a, they already yeah. had love for him. Exactly. It's a and thing. he was in Pacific Rim too. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was. I didn't see that movie. I did. did. It was it was enjoyable. Yeah, I like the first one better. I uh, I just wish there were more robots. That's like that's more like giant fights. That's like a perfect Sunday afternoon when it's on HBO. I enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. like, there it is. Or plane. Finn or plane. Good plane. Good plane. Good plane. Good plane. I, the same I need to go yeah. uh, take a long flight so I can catch up on some movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm going to the movies, kind of. <laughs> just, like, I just get international. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where are you heading today, sir? Oh, just once around. I just, uh, I just, I just need to see this movie. If you, yeah. if you go international, yeah. the movies are all free. Although Americans, most of the time, they're free anyway. Yeah. Because you're like on your personal device. That's if, United, I if think. That's United, yeah. United's like, we ain't giving you shit. You Use your own iPad. fucking phone, but then you can watch it for free. Yeah. But fuck you, I'm putting the screen. Yeah. Too. The new ones are, which is crazy. Like they announced like last year or so, like all their new models aren't going to have monitors. I hate you know? that. I know, everybody so has iPads. Yeah, but but I do, it's still I, no, I do agree ass. with you. I it's do still agree. just like I'm on a flight, boop boop boop, and it's like I just I generally won't bother like taking out all my shit to watch. Now I can play something on my iPad while watching a movie. Well, the shitty thing is though that they only turn that shit on once you're above ten thousand feet. That's true. Yeah. So it's it's like uh, I like the, when you the screen on the back. Granted, they interrupt it every five seconds. It's true. Right, once you sit down, you, you can, can watch sit down it. And start watching. Yep. You're good. The yep. last time I was on a flight, I the, agree. The, the, the the pilot left the intercom on for maybe five minutes. So the movies were paused for like five minutes for like before <laughs> like, like before like the flight attendant had her. Was he just up there going like? No, no. I, I'm assuming it was an accident, but I kind of think that I also kind of like that it was just like. <laughs> 
I bet they think it was just like white noise. <laughs> you know what you should do? Are you talking about watching watching movies yeah. on the plane? Mm -hmm. I, I, just, I checked out for a while. Uh, I did this for the first time the other day, and it's fucking awesome. They always say, uh, "Yeah, just watch it on uh, on your iPhone or whatever." I did that. It's fucking awesome. Well, they don't pause it then. No, but the problem is it doesn't turn on until you're over ten thousand feet. You can't do it once you get on the plane. You can't. You gotta wait. Yeah, the Wi-Fi like, doesn't. It's turn the same. On it's like that Wi-Fi service shit. Where you the Wi-Fi. There's one of the doors no, closed. It's weird. It turns on. Sometimes, it just doesn't work. The internet doesn't work. But you can. It's real weird. Yeah. Sometimes it's on and sometimes it's not. Yeah, because I. They're very inconsistent. You're right that though you can't browse the internet until you hit 10,000 feet. But I think you can still watch the movies and stuff through the American Airlines. Last time and I tried this when I just was going to Florida. I tried to. I went to the thing and yes, you can connect to the the, the Wi-Fi was there. Go, go go in flight internet. Yeah, but it, to launch you have to launch the browser. To get the movie selection to launch it into the GoGo in Flight app. But the browser is the loading screen from the GoGo in Flight. Like if you go to airborne.gogoinflight.com, yes. It'll. It just told me you have to be over 10,000 feet. Oh. Mm. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll check tomorrow. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, we'll circle I've back, only done it once. We'll circle back next week. Yeah. 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 I think I did it halfway through the plane. So I'm just like, a, I got sick of reading. I've had really weird experiences with Wi Fi on planes. So, yeah. We're talking about travel stuff. <laughs> uh, I, Going back to the roots. Yeah. Last time I was on a plane, uh, not this trip, but the one before not it, I plane. had internet and oh. I didn't pay for it. Like, the, just the Wi Fi was on and it was just free. Really? Yeah, I've never had that. I was, I was, I that's that generally too. unheard of. I had yes. that on one Southwest flight, and mm -hmm. they were just like, "Yeah, free Wi-Fi for the whole plane because you waited like two hours from delays." And I was like, okay, "Also, cool, also, they cool. were like, there's, there's four, there's, there's 120 of you on this flight, yeah, and 90 exactly. of you are getting off, <laughs> right? <laughs> just right. so you know, welcome to Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> Have free we've internet. Got, we've got snacks for 30 of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, we won't need anymore. <laughs> as, as someone who frequently flies in the bus of the sky. <laughs> I, no, it's, it's, that is it's, the Greyhound with wings. No, I also yeah, Southwest. Yeah, I fly Southwest all the time. Yeah, I fucking cheap. I'm, I, it's cheap. I'm a little worried about it's very it. Very cheap. You don't know where you're gonna yeah. sit. You don't know if you're. I can't. I can't. Is, have a bathroom. Is, I can't. Is the I, there's no. Well, that's why in the universe I can get on a plane and not knowing where my seat. Well, that's is why if you know everything of yeah. If you spend like forty dollars at the gate, you can get like priority boarding with like the first group, and then you can like have basically like open seating. That's the, I don't really care where but, I sit on an airplane. But I, I'm going to be uncomfortable for however long. I'm I just don't want to be in the middle seat. I don't care where. Like yeah. that's fine. I'm just I'm going to try and tune out, shut down everything below my neck, and just pretend that I'm not. See, here. it's like I always fly Southwest because that's usually the only direct airline from Austin to Boston whenever I'm going home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for this last Florida trip, my sister she she works for United, so we can fly for free, but it's on standby. Yeah, that's a nightmare. So that was a whole thing. I mean, it was fine, but I was like, I don't know if I want to do this every time. And she was like, I'll just get you some flights. I was like, I'd rather pay for the security, but um, it's yeah. a nice gesture. I mean, it, it worked out fine, but it was a little stressful. Like, right? Like I like from leaving from Fort My like the layover was weird. Like I like I we were in Fort Myers. And then my layover was in Chicago and then to Austin. So I don't know if you're familiar with the map of the United States, but that's like way really. far north <laughs> of, of, you know, yeah. Chicago is way far north of Austin. As opposed to just going over there. So I went to Chicago to Austin, which was fine. Who but thought? my fight flum from, uh, Chicago, flum from Chicago to Austin, I got there and the guy was like, uh, hey, I'm flying standby. I just want to make sure I'm checked in. He's like, uh, yeah, there's uh, two people ahead of you. So uh, it's not looking good. And I was just like, well, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm on the flight? And she's, he's like, I, I didn't say that. I'm just saying it's not looking good. And but like my sister already confirmed me. She was like, "No, you're the last person to get on that plane. You're getting on that plane." I don't know why this guy was telling you this. I think he was just trying to like scare me or whatever. He's just like, "That's always a good thing." Yeah. To do. yeah. yeah. Well, I, when I you get the to the air, the guy's like, Ooh, "Guy working guy working yeah. at the airline." He's like, "I'm gonna freak this fuck yeah. out." Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, if I, and that was the last flight out of Chicago to Austin. So I would have had like stay in a hotel in, in Chicago. I mean, all he was saying here. was anyone that walked up and expressed an interest in getting on that plane would have been better than you. Apparently, yeah. yeah. I was just like, what a shitty guy. Yeah. Well, Fuck you, guy. What are you, what are you gurgling at over there, Jeff? Yeah, J Jeff yeah, let like, out yeah. several... Ugh. Oh, is that because no. I was speaking? Or? No, 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 and partially. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, did related. you have some sort of... Sure. Oh, no, I was yeah. happy because I got... Like, uh, you went, uh, uh, both of my flights got up here uh, to first class, so I was like, oh. Fancy. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah no, so nice. beyond the 20-minute flight, you also... That's got, like yeah. the opposite of flying standby. Yeah, it is, actually. So yeah. You have to go up to, like, Chicago, too, for to come back here? Well, that was just for that. Th that was just for that one flight because there, oh, okay. there's no direct flights from Fort Myers. That's literally to Austin. So it was yeah, just, Chicago O'Hare. I feel you got to go to Chicago, but it's just like I would think like maybe Dallas or Houston being course. Well, Dallas, that's but. like every time I go home for Christmas, it's straight up like there's no direct flight from here to like 
Anywhere. Nowhere in South sure. Carolina. It's Austin International yeah. Airport, and it's not that at all. So it's like you know, South Carolina is not international either, right? Right. Okay. Okay. So we sure. we failed with that. Uh, yeah, you have to go straight up to Chicago and then right back down. For, yeah, it it's, seems so stupid. You should be able like, to fly American to Austin to Charlotte to where you live. That'd be much. Yeah, closer. that's that's what I would think or would happen. But it doesn't let you do it. Maybe with no, they don't connect me through Atlanta anymore either. That's if you fly Delta. The first time, yeah, Delta will do that. Delta's hub is Atlanta. American, yeah. You should. There's direct flights from Austin to Charlotte. That would. I can let me. You can probably get me. I'll look you up. I lay over to Charlotte all the time. It's great airport. I usually like if I'm flying American and I have a layover. It's Dallas. It's uh, Charlotte, uh, O'Hare. or it's Chicago, Phoenix. I get Phoenix. Those are the three all the time. That's I almost West never stuff. get Houston. Very rarely do they. I got they Houston. Houston. I got not Houston once. American won't take you to Houston. They hate them. <laughs> nah, it's just like they're not their hub. Dallas is Dallas is a hub. Dallas and is nice. It's a nice airport. It is. It's a fucking Charlotte's huge. actually really really. It's nice very airport. large. Yeah. yeah. I've I've never been in the Charlotte airport besides like. Like the terminal, yeah. like in the terminal of of just layover. Yeah. Sure, yeah. never. I'm, I'm like yeah, I'm here all the time, but not really. I feel like I'm there all the time. I've been there twice this month. I've never been to Charlotte. That's okay. Sorry, right. I had a tattoo there once at the airport. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was it the one that has all your passwords in it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 then he then he flayed so just black light my arm. Flayed his arm and out. was like, anything happens. Just get a you, know, you think Gus has like a capsule embedded under his skin? With yes, all the that? very much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like a what Gus, like a what Gus has is, is, a, no, is a note in his back pocket. <laughs> what yeah. Gus has is a desire for you to pose those questions. But no, the answer is much more. It's really probably a lot more simplistic. Yeah. He just it's wants just to overthink it. Folded up in his wallet. It's all like it's scrimshawed on the back of a tooth. Golly, did y'all? Speaking of which, did y'all play? Uh, what's that pirate game? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Did you play the, we the shark thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were waiting we yeah. for little Jay. Oh, okay. Yeah. We need the okay. captain. We're, we're right. trying to figure out a way to get another boat on our server, because you need five people at least to do it. Sounds like there are plenty of people there. Yeah, well, there's plenty of people who are just killing yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you can say that as much as you want. It's not going to yeah. happen. That's, I don't, there's no way to do when that. When is the Megalodon Megalo fuck off? Next week. Well, we were saying we yeah. could try it tomorrow. You try it tomorrow. You guys should. Yeah. You could try and stream it. Sounds like you got to stream it. We can at very least get the quest on. Here's the thing. Yeah. We can try to stream it. Yeah. It's not going to happen. No. There's no way we're going to do it. <laughs> but Megalodon. at least we'll get the stream out of it. And we're just going to do Pirate Voices anyway. Arr. So we're like, where be the Megalodon? We're, we're need a support. I be looking for Jason Statham. We, we, we've <laughs> lost the, the navigator. I it's good to navigator see. Navigator Jack be fucking off somewhere. It's good yeah, to see that Rain Wilson's still alive. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's good to see him in a movie. Like, good for you, Rain. I saw you, you. You did The Office. Great, amazing character. Did that Fox great show acting. That didn't pick did that Fox show did not do well. Did no. do well. Also, immediately after The Office, like within two years or so, did that did that movie where he was like in a rock band or some shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I saw that in theaters. I don't remember anything about it. But he was like, he was like a like like 35, 40 year old loser doing nothing, and then was like. Oh, him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do yeah. a lot, though. And then it was like, you know, I'm in a band, and they, he was in a band with a bunch of teenagers. Yeah. And then nothing. And then, well, I mean, every day, you know, when I watch The Office 2005, he's in my house every single day. <laughs> right, you're but keeping him alive. I'm keeping yeah. him alive. Yeah. Same thing with um, uh, Steve Carell. And then I see him now, and he still looks good, but I'm like, because he's 20 years older now. Because Steve Carell, to me, again, is like season three of The Office. Like, right. that's what he looks like forever. Yes. And then he's like, I've got white hair. Hey, how are yeah, you? Yeah, and his beard now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I was excited to see Rain in that movie. I hope that's a good movie. It, I mean, it looks, it looks fucking fun. stupid. It looks, fun. it looks stupid as fuck, but it looks super fun. And uh, even based on the trailer, like, I hope to God, I, I can't help but think they know the movie they've made. Please <laughs> right. know the I'm movie I'm hoping it's made. self-aware. Be self-aware. When you cast Jason it Statham in the lead, Rain Wilson and Ruby Rose in a film, do you, do you know what you're, do you know what you're in for? Like they and knew like, what they were even, doing. They knew. They, the, they know uh, what that movie is. What was the? I can't think of it off the top of my head. What was the? What was the soundtrack in the trailer? It was something like real life. Oh, it was like somewhere under the sea. Yeah, it was real on the nose. Mm-hmm. It was like under the sea. And people yeah. are getting eaten by this absurd dinosaur mm-hmm. shark. Mm-hmm. Like I hope it's good. I mean, that's why I liked um, Piranhas 3D. The I movie mean, was a piece of shit, but it knew what it was. It was, right. fun. It was yeah. fun as hell. That was like the first two shark before like, it actually jumped. I had the shark. fucking Ving Rhames in the water with a chainsaw, chainsawing piranhas. Yeah, like I was like, this movie's awesome. It's awesome. So I I hope the Meg is good. Embrace the suck. 
I also, yeah, the, also, there's a point where you're like, you just got to go into it deeper in. Right. <laughs> Come on. Fuck Somebody's got to go in. Yeah, yeah. Jonah and the Whale, that thing. <laughs> Who is in that? Was it, was it Timothy Oliphant was in that, I think? In two? which one? Piranhas 3D. I can't it was say like, that. Timothy, Timothy Oliphant, I think it he was He seems him. like the kind of guy who would be if in that movie. it was him, he played basically, what's the dude from Girls Gone Wild? He played that jerk off. Oh, yeah. Like uh, the camera guy guy? Like no, no, the no, 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 guy, no, no, the jerk off guy. I think he went to jail a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah well, you know, like, <laughs> his name is, his name is. Held him hostage He was like a real scumbag human piece of shit. Oh, tip my tongue. Can I get it? What's your legal jerk off guy? I knew his name. I knew it. His name is. Whispering back there. You got it. You got it. D <sighs> douche bag. No. He's a total douche. Let's move on and then he'll get it. By yeah, the let's the move on. But anyway, he's basically someone playing. Out there, no. they, he's Don't basically playing it. that dude from Girls Gone Wild. I gotta look it up. The dude's like out on the beach and he's trying to get like chicks to like get naked and film them and shit like that. And he's playing like a super douchey character. But there's even this finally when he gets eaten by the piranhas, he's like. His all of his legs are eaten, and it's just like he's got like a mush of a dick, and he's like, "They ate my dick! They ate my fucking dick, man!" And he's like holding it like in goo and yeah. shit like that. It's fucking funny. Joe Francis. Joe Francis. Joe Francis. Yep. I, I want to say I want to say Frank something, but that was the Francis. Yeah. What is going on? Jail. jail was a possibility. Yeah. I mean, he went back and forth with it. Someone didn't someone like hold him hostage and make him? No, I think you're they right. They put him in jail. There's some. There's something like well, that. Well, for. A Lots was it the police were holding him hostage <laughs> yeah. in jail? No, no, no. There was there was <laughs> tons of shit. What happened with I? I missed this entire Maybe development. It was just like all in the nineties. Yeah, the guy that, he's, the, he's the creator of Girls Gone Wild. Yeah, I think someone was like, like a he's a shady scumbag or something. Yeah, he's a pretty yeah. scummy. Oh, I mean, held him hostage and allegedly made him record pretty like scummy a, dude. Okay, makes sense. He's a he's a real bro looking Jersey Shore dude for sure. There he is. Oh, I know that guy. Joey Fertz. I know that face. Yeah. Yeah, he's like yeah, yeah. What's up? Take your tits out. He dated Paris Hilton. Ugh. I mean, who did? I didn't. Yeah, me. Are you well, sure? We'll get the next. It's still time. Is it like a virus it achievement now. where yeah. it's like, she oh married? yeah, everybody yeah. that's dated uh, Paris Hilton just spreads it. Kinda, yeah. She's but like, that's you two can be on the next episode. Now. BFD and Gage ain't married. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Michael Scott. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can be on the next episode of Exile. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's. Oh God, she's in her thirties now. I'm okay with that. I'm before. No, but that's but like I want to date. A, I would. I want to date a woman. When Paris said, "But you not dating Paris Hilton. You like get in and get out, or marry her and be the heir to the Hilton fortune." I mean, you could. I'm just saying, if you want to hit <laughs> on the like Paris Hilton, whether like, Judge Francis dated her, or like when that douchebag who made the sex tape dated her, all that. That she was like 20. Rick Solomon. Yeah, that was his name. Shannon Doherty's ex-husband. Yeah, there yeah. you go. He's yeah. Yeah, that's that guy. Hey, yo, man. He, the people like that ruin. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Supposed to be like fun. You know, we're having. A, I'm just hanging out. Yeah. But then when you get to like, yeah, sure. it's more like rape. It's a little intense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's so like those rape undertones. Well, you're watching the sex date with Paris Hilton. It's like I know you agreed to this. You're clearly agreeing to this, and you're all for it. But it still feels rapey. Yeah. 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 Like, you're like. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm fucking this chick and I'm, I'm tricking her. And I'm just like, Ugh. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. You know. I don't know who wants to see themselves have sex. I, mean, I don't. I'm horrified. I don't, yeah. I don't at all. I'm horrified to see what I look like in a sexual Mid coitus. No. Yeah. Like, 100%, you're like twice as fat as you thought you were. Oh, right? I'm sure. Like, no, it, it wouldn't even be that. It'd be confirmation. Like, It'd be like, I'm exactly as fat as I think yep. I am. Your dick's gonna look super tiny. <laughs> and then I'd be your, like, your, your face. Does, your cellulite. That's something you don't think about, but you got it. Your ass cheeks are gonna be like And then it'd be like, yeah. she'd be like, that's what I look like to her? I know. I'm never yeah. gonna let her That's go through the, that again right. for the rest of my life. That's why they close their eyes. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm <laughs> gonna. I'm gonna go live in a fucking shack in the woods and be a monk for the rest of my life. I don't want anyone to ever have to go through that. And with then me. you can just monk off. Yeah, well, you Perfect. have to. That's why they call it monk it off. <laughs> That's why they do it. Yeah. That's the etymology. They make that. their heads look like their penises. That's why they shave yeah. their mm -hmm. It's yeah. a little bell end. Yeah. all over. Yeah. 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 I get it now. Ooh. Now we're learning. It looks grander without the, the right. hair to cover. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Who knew? Like I, I thought, that was what a gentleman sweep was. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. As a kid, I always thought Kremlin was just bald. 
Oh yeah. No, he just does grow it later. Yeah, yeah. later he he's just like he's hair. just like no, I'm good. That, and the, he just grows back. As it turns out, does he have like the dots? Oh, the dots were hair plugs. No, the dots. That was like that was like the monk thing. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, like tattoos or something. I guess probably. It's a jungle out there. Yeah. Three thirty-three. Remember that movie we saw? Who were you? Either one of you? I didn't see it. I think it was in that one. Did you see it? Awful. Well, the theater movie. Oh, I was thinking of what three eighteen or whatever the Clint Eastwood one about the train, the guys that stopped the three ten to Yuma. Three ten to Yuma. Three ten to Yuma. Clint Eastwood. There was another one. That was it's the one where male. it's the one that it just good. came out that was good. It's the one that just came out where Clint Eastwood directed it, and it's the dudes that stopped the train oh. attacker in Paris. Three eighteen, and it Yuma. starred the people, <laughs> the people like the actual seals or oh, really? guys plus a few, it. plus a few. Oh, it's like three, like the something something to Paris. That's three, what three ten to Paris or three thirteen to three thirty three to Paris. Three thirty three to Paris. Perfect. No, look not, it up. Hang yeah. on, I'm gonna type. I heard I'll that movie three. was was it good? I heard I heard it was not great because to Paris. I mean, there were there there soldiers. They're not. I, I, yes, were they that, even soldiers? This, I thought they were just like college guys. The fifth. Well, the they 15, they were seventeen to Paris. That's it. We're no, way so it's not even close. It's the three seventeen. It says fifteen, but the military oh, time is yeah, three seventeen. Right. Maybe yeah, overseas, it's, fine, it's yeah. called the fifteen. That's just what's good. Yeah, that says. would actually, yeah. Yeah, I think it's called three seventeen to Paris. Okay, well, that's we don't do military time here. No, I mean, unless I do speak it. You do speak military. I was raised on military time. That's how I learned it. That's, that's what the poster says. Five seventeen. It, it makes sense. Oh, it's just like, like from the from the like all, all the all like the clocks at like the police station were all military time. It's just twenty four hour clocks. Like it, it makes Fucking sense when you look military at military state police force. That's mm-hmm. what it is. Brag <laughs> about it. Cool. Yeah, oh, right here. I wouldn't do that though. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you got going on? I don't know. <laughs> probably, uh, probably have to do some meetings and shit after this. Nice. Go hang out with my kid before nice. I go out of town. Oh, that actually is nice. Yeah, yeah, that part's nice. Kids are awesome. I like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's awesome. And there's a definite thing where, like, I still like my kid the best, obviously. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you? Uh, but, like, I like kids. Kids are great. I get it now. You I see something? a kid in public, and I'm like, hey, this guy. Millie had a, uh, had a dance recital Poor recently. Girl. Whatever. And uh, I went to it. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's, good for you. As you when do. your kid, yeah. by the way, this is the one sucky part about it. When your kids go to like have a dance recital, uh-huh. you're not watching your kid have a dance recital. You're watching your kid dance for five minutes, and you're watching two and a half hours of other people's kids. Mm-hmm. Yep. dude. I was just in New Jersey, and I went to my fucking my nephew's baseball game. And my older nephew's ten. Oh, he played soccer, and then my younger nephew played baseball. Who's uh, he just turned eight? That was like. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah kids like aren't very good at baseball. It was like yeah. a 17 hour game where I saw him try to hit the ball once. And I was just like, oh my god, it never Look at this picture. Well, it looks like Millie is babysitting all those other kids. Holy shit. They're all the same age, too. She's huge. She's like a giant. Oh, she's tall, yeah. Oh, that. God, you take that. Take it. that, Tom Holland. Yeah. <laughs> that's not the photo, but that that's is not the photo, photo, but that was that the outfit she was wearing. I saw her tweet. She's in what, seventh grade next year? Well, she will be. Yeah. She passed sixth grade. Hey. This is the year. Took after her old man. This is the year. Passed sixth grade. 13. I know. I know. Getting close. I'd say the beginning of the end, but it already began. It began two yeah. years ago. Yeah, it was yeah. like she's she's ahead of her. She hit thirteen her when game, she was so about was like, nine. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's uh, the great thing about being a parent, though, is you, what you said about you know recognizing other kids and being like, uh, they, they're so much cuter when you're a parent because either a you're like ah, I remember that phase, or b you're like. Thank God that one's not mine. Yeah, <laughs> mine's True. way better than that. You get to it's feel true. superior. Like my kid would never be. I that have, oh, you're in a restaurant and you're like, get the fucking dickhead over there. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I thank Millie all the time. We'd be out in public and I'm like, I just go, hey buddy, appreciate it. She's like, got you. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, I got you, but don't talk to me anymore. Yeah, but no, no, no. <laughs> don't look at me. You turn away when you want to talk that way. In the future, I'd appreciate this. When you see like, like a child it. acting out like in a restaurant situation or anything, do you sympathize with the parents or the child, or is it or does it vary? Well, why would you sympathize with the child? Yeah, yeah, I really I sympathize with the kid. kid. I go. I, go, I guarantee you, the goddamn, kid's being a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Get your goddamn kid under control. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. the kid is being a dickhead, and I blame that on the kid, but the kid is probably a dickhead because of their parents. I look at it and I go, "You, I think, have fun with that." 
Sure. Yeah. It's not yeah. my problem yeah. anymore. I will admit it. I, know, I, did I go remember that day. I can't believe that they're letting their kids scream too. Yeah. Home sucks. I get it. Yeah. So sure. That's real man. I'm sure. sorry. So you kind of I feel real bad right. for you. I know what you're going through right now. I definitely been there. sympathize with parents who have unruly kids on planes. Like that one. Anytime yeah. I see a kid crying and people get all upset or flustered, I'm like, man, I feel for you. I, I've been there. That There's nothing you can do about <laughs> it's that. Also, it sucks. There's such a good example of that. Uh, maybe it was when we went to Australia this year. We were on a flight with Lawrence. So it was probably Australia for RTX. And... Uh, Lindsay and I were kind of near the back of the section that we were in on the plane. And Lawrence was like, maybe like seven rows in front of us. And there was like two, maybe like two kids in our section, like babies as kids. And like the whole flight and then upon landing, I don't know, it just had to be landing in LA. We had to landed in LA and then all the funhouse people fucked off because they lived there. And then we had to still lay over to Austin. But like plane landing, Lindsay and I, all things considered, Flying with Iris a couple times now, we were like, those kids weren't bad. Like, that wasn't, mm. they didn't really freak out that much. Like, you know, you get a kid next to you and it's like, oh, shit. Like, I'm not like, fucking kid, but it's like, uh, it's a gamble. You don't yeah, know. Right, you don't yeah. know. And like, all things considered, I was like, oh, man, that wasn't, that wasn't bad at all. And Lindsay and I were like, no, that's good. Blah, blah, blah. We get off the plane, <laughs> look at fucking Twitter. And Lawrence is like, these motherfucking kids wouldn't shut the fuck up on the flight. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, yeah, you don't have any kids. <laughs> Like the difference, I'm like, he's talking about, is he talking about the same kids? I'm like, the, the, are you kidding me? And to me, they were fine. Like, and like, yeah, they were like, you know, kind of loud have, now and then. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah, now. I got perspective yeah. where I'm like, they were not screaming at the, like not only parent perspective, but like airline perspective. I've been on planes before I had a kid. I know a kid screaming on a fucking flight the entire flight. It wasn't like they were like little monsters and I just went, eh, it's fine. It was fully like, here's a scale I've made for myself. Yeah. And to me, you didn't get into the you're pissing me off section. Right. That's yeah. pretty good for a flight from London to or uh, Australia to, to LAX. I'm usually That's all proximity based. Yeah. Where it's like if the kid is right in front of you, the scale goes up way faster. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But there was a pretty equal distance between okay. us and the kid. They weren't like they were kind of like we were in the back, he was in the front, and they were kind of in the middle. Maybe the screams went forward more, you know. I guess so. But yeah. this, this I, and it's funny because I, I talked to Lawrence there, like in Australia, this was before this too. And we, yeah, and Lindsay and I end up getting the conversation about kids with everybody because you have a baby, you know. There'll always be like, you know, either people with kids are like, oh, I remember that, or people without kids are like, what's that like, you know? And it's pretty much all you talk about. And Lawrence is just like, he was just talking about kids in general, and he was like, yeah, I don't think I can take that plunge. What if I don't like it? And I'm like, that's, that's I'm like, and I was yeah, like, exactly. yeah, no, and I'm like, I'm like, I, I can't, I can't speak to that because I super wanted a kid, then I got the kid, and then I fucking liked it a million times more than I thought I was. Sure. You know what I mean? I was like, this will be cool, and then I got the kid, and it was like, I could do nothing for the rest of my life except raise this kid, and that, and that'd be that fine be enough. for me. But Lawrence is like. They don't feel that way. So Let's like, see. how can you guarantee that when you got the kid? And I'm like, well, you can't. Yeah. And that might make you a better parent by it's not like having children. Stockholm's that's, that's, <laughs> that's, having kids, though. That's my worry, though, because it's like... Oh, you'll like be awful. A, don't have kids. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm no, sure. you'll hate them. You'll it's, be like, I'm going to feed you. I fed you yesterday. Well, that's it. It's like, I feel like it's a <laughs> kid rat. by kid basis they where it's like... That kid, that kid could turn No, they all eat every day. Yeah. No, it's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. You don't cycle them out, okay? I mean, the only thing I have to compare it to is like, I had a cat. Liked the first cat, great cat. Won another cat. Got the new cat, hate it. <laughs> so fucking annoying. How's Liquid? Is Liquid still uh, he's, good? He's all great. He curls up and that's all he does. Okay. But, uh, you know, the cat so Matt jumps in front is of saying TV, just shits all over stuff. This kid, if you had a kid and they happen to be a that vegetable, like a kid. it'd be awesome. <laughs> right. I love him, vegetables. For no, him, ideally. If I, if I get the kid who's like, hey, what do you want to do today? I would like to sit here and do nothing. Perfect. See, but that's you that's want a kid. You. you want a house plant. That's the that's no. I don't want to water. Though. Kind of the nice thing, Matt. Though, though, if you, you put water the kid, Matt, if you put the work in, though, oh. you you make that kid. I guess that's true. They're they're kind of a blank slate. Yeah. Like, sure, there's personality in there. They're gonna fight you, but like, you make them into whatever you and want like, them mold to them be. in your image. In your you household, mold them into eating candy in my, okay, and what? sitting around right. and watching. Well, TV I'm not gonna. I don't to mold them into. I actually, candy. I don't think I'm gonna well, mold true. them into <laughs> eating that much candy. No, I mean they'll, they'll do it on all. They're the less for resources. That's true. Don't touch my shit. Yeah, well, calm down over there. That is terrible. This stuff tastes awful. You'd hate it. You just keep giving them a special doctored piece of candy that's like. 
covered. Dude, I love feeding Iris shit. It's so much fun. Like feed her. Like when you fed her like some big Big Mac for the first time, or like. Uh yeah, I gave her some quarter pounder. Oh, that was a quarter pounder. steak the other day. Uh, dude, I gave her in the last like two weeks. Kid had she had Vince Young's on her birthday. Had a fucking dry aged steak. Oof. Uh, she she ate a steak on her first birthday, of a of a price and a quality that I probably first consumed a year and a half ago for myself <laughs> in, in Austin. Yeah, she had it on her first birthday, and then just the other day we went to another restaurant again that I've been going to downtown a lot. Which right by my place, by the way. It's it's uh I thought about stopping Stop by, and say and then, you know we didn't, but fair um, enough. Fair enough. Uh, then she had a steak there. And it's like, I'm fucking eating it, and as I, like, I'll, you know, cut, like, the center soft bits, because she's got teeth, but I still won't give her anything, like, hard to chew. But I give it to her, and I'm fucking, with, at Vince Young's, because it's, like, yeah, it's, it's kind of a pricey steak place. And we, as she was eating it, I leaned in, and I looked at her, and I go, you're eating a fucking $70 steak. It's fucking $70! What are you doing? And she's just like, I, 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 I. One year old. Outrageous. I had so much fucking fun. I went and got barbecue the other day, and they had, like, I, n- I never get sweets. I never pick up, like, candies or cookies. Like, especially, mm-hmm. it's everywhere, but in Texas, there's always, like, a basket of shit, yeah. you know, like, at the register. And I was like, fucking mm-hmm. brownie? I'm going to feed that to Iris. And it's like, the rest of the night, you know, like, I'd take a bite, and then I'd give her a bite. She'd be freaking out about something. I'm like, you know, I'd take the controller away from her. She's all pissed off about it. I'm like, that's true, but how about this fucking brownie, though? And she was like, nah, give me the fucking brownie. You stuff like that with me, too. Give me the brownie. It worked with him, too. I hate when they get to the point where you're like, you liked this a month ago. You still like it. I haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. But yes, it's very similar to Andy, like the baby. You ate this yesterday. I was Yeah, now it's leftovers. There's there's a number of things that have happened uh, both with, like, before Iris was born, like Andy living with us, and then Iris was born, and then, like, I've seen... Iris is born, I've seen her doing things as like a one month old, and I'm like, that's weird. Andy did that same thing. <laughs> and then, and then uh, yeah. later on, like as, she, as she got older, yeah. I would see her do things, and then Andy do them. And I go, that's weird. Iris does the same thing. And that's when I realized, like, Andy has not evolved from being a baby. <laughs> He's, he's, I think I think at one point it was just like, oh, I think Iris is mimicking you, and you're like, no, Andy is just still a baby. And, and, yeah, that's or what Andy's it was. Mimicking Iris. Yeah, right, and he yeah. was like, oh, Iris does that like me. I'm like, I think every baby just does that. You just haven't. Learned <laughs> it was to a stop. hard pill to swallow to realize <laughs> that I was no longer gonna be the center of attention. I had to, I had to take that. <laughs> you knew. Sm- yeah, you I knew, knew it was coming. He moved out earlier than I thought he would. Honestly, I thought I'd have to throw him out, and then he was like, I'm leaving. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, kids might be born for a couple months. You got a couple months left. I remember. I, like, I remember. Nah, I really need to go now. I remember the the day. <laughs> it's the, gonna my, get worse. My right? last morning there, when I was like, when I was like, for, uh, my last night was like a work night. I was moving out, and Lindsay was like tearing up. She's like, see you, and I was like, I'll see you at work. And then yeah, I left. I know. Right. First of all, I'll see you tomorrow. Second of all, you live eight minutes away. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was like, I'll see you at work. Which is the opposite, Get out. Of, yeah. opposite of what the situation I had with Gavin where I went, all right, well, I guess I'll just never see you again. And then that's what happened. Yeah? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Hey, how about at work? Oh, never no, mind. No. Never mind. <laughs> nice, nice knowing you, little guy. Hmm. I wish somebody would talk about underwear right now. I can't believe you said that because I was just I was thinking about it. Oh my but God. I'll bring I it was up just now. I was just daydreaming. Well, it's because I was like looking and thinking about a comfortable pair of shorts that I could wear that just keep going. And it's great because this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by MeUndies. You know MeUndies. I've mentioned them. Ryan loves them. Jack gets mad that he doesn't get them. If shorts keep going, doesn't that make them pants? Well, they, they, I don't mean they keep going in length. Oh, okay. They keep going as in, like, reliability, comfort, gotcha. you know, breeziness. They just go all day. You, you I do miles love, on I, have, yeah. I literally just ordered some. <laughs> That's And I said this They're before, com- like, the first pair I ever ordered was because of Gus doing the read on the RT mm. podcast. I used the RT podcast code, and I was like, I got I to gotta try out these MeUndies. I got a pair the other day. Avocado MeUndies? I don't even like avocado, but the underwear is so <laughs> they, comfortable. And they taste so good. Um... The me undies are fun, comfy undies that feel as good as they look. 
So those of you who haven't tried them yet, listen up. You can get incredible underwear sent to your door with me on these, meaning no more hunting around with a perfect pair at a crowded store and eventually settling for good enough. MeUndies are made with a sustainably sourced material from beechwood trees. Their naturally soft fiber makes a fabric that won't sag down or ride up. Trust me, once you put on a pair, you'll get it. This is true. They, I mean, we talked about the MeUndies all the time. They're great. They are super comfy. I'm not kidding. Jack is mad. Every couple of weeks, he's like, come on, we haven't gotten new underwear. Where are, <laughs> where are they? Who's... Who's hogging them all? <laughs> like, I'm curious about that. I'm, I'm waiting for Jack. Jack. <laughs> That's why I was like, all right, fine, I'll just buy them. I'm waiting for Jack to bust in right now going, Jesus Christ, guys, and just dump a bunch of underwear yeah, on the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I wasn't hoarding them. God. The underwear fairy has not been through. <laughs> I mean, talk to Trevor. He might be taking them for himself. Oh, it's, I'm just saying, if you see Trevor wearing me undies, and then he's like, you know, I'm just you know like. Who's a, you know who's a sneaky one with that shit? Who's that? Lewis. Oh yeah, Lewis, oh, yeah. Lewis getting a <laughs> lot of stuff. Lewis, get, Lewis, get Lewis little, manages. Lewis, wait, lay off the me undies. Lewis, Lewis will come to work in a Jeff shirt I haven't seen yet. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> and I'm That's like, where'd you get true. that shirt? And he's like, and then I go yeah, and no. I go, hey, where's the new Jeff shirt? And they go, we gave it to Lewis to give to you. Did Here's, he not give it to you? Lewis, you go. Where'd you get the shirt? And he goes. And then he, he leaves, does that. and then that's it. He does that. That's it. So yeah, he's. But ask Lewis. Check his underwear. Still won't be on that, camera though. That might be where. Well, not for us. It's not for us. Uh, me on these is so sure you'll love your first pair. That if you're not happy, they'll do whatever they can to get you into the right pair. And if they can't, keep them, and they'll refund you. So it really is risk free to try the best underwear ever. Still not sure? Well, MeUndies has a deal for our viewers of Off Topic. First time purchasers get 20% off their first pair of MeUndies and free shipping. That's 20% off plus free shipping and a guarantee that you and your MeUndies will be very happy together. To get 20% off your first pair, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's MeUndies.com slash off topic. Pound sign, pound sign, pound sign, pound sign. PW, you get. TW is all over this. Back again. Trade work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're good. They're good endies. I yeah. somehow have two Ain't no pairs. Lie. I don't know how I Ain't got no two lie. pairs, but I because I'm sure there was some laying in the office that were too big, and people were like, "This doesn't fit me." Or Jack I was, was like, "I'll there. squeeze into them." Yeah, you were like, <laughs> <laughs> "I ordered, I ordered some of those, and I ordered some Strideline socks." You suck, Jeff. Uh, Jeff. For making me love those Stryline socks. Are, they are good. good. Stryline Stry are my go-to like pull-up socks, like longer mm -hmm. socks. They're and still I, selling like the uh, the Rooster Teeth ones on Amazon too. Do they? Yeah. Nice. Can I they sell them on Amazon? Yeah. Well, that's cool. I think I we that. still sell them in our store, don't we? We sell yeah. different ones on our store though. We do have more than just Stryline, but I think we still have Stridelines as well. The, I don't know. I looked on this. I looked on the RT store because I was like, wow, I, I'd forgotten that those existed as yeah. I was looking at Stryline socks. Because if you go to the Stryline socks website, they just have white and black. Oh no, they, it depends because they also have some of those, like sports teams. And well, then that's what gets to the sports team. And I'm like, I don't know. yeah, it means nothing. Uh, <laughs> the, which sport team do I want on my feet? <laughs> right. I'll say this, and you can bring it up about the store. Like a lot of people are always like, oh, you talked about this shirt in this video, and I can't find it, or you know, this cup, or the socks, or whatever. And it's like we have nothing to do with the store. At, mm -hmm. Like we like we clear this our stuff that goes in it. Like, hey, we're gonna make some stuff for you guys. What do you think about this? Or We'll come up with an idea and then go to, you know, the designers and then they work with merch and they'll be like, you know, I have an idea for a shirt. Like lightning round, you know, right. it's like, hey, we're playing PUBG. We got this cool idea for a shirt. Jeff drew it on the board. They made an exact replica of the for drawing. Sure. They've done a good job with my drawing. Like when they I drew really did. Mm -hmm. yeah. They filled yeah, in a couple Lupe. details. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, but like Took once it's out, it. that it's out of our hands. So like I, I'm sure you guys get it too. I'm constantly bombarded. Like, when's this going to be in stock? Or why is this? Size? The store is madness. We have like a hundred million things. Over the number of shirts. Thousand SKUs in our store. The number of shirts and socks and cups and everything. Like it, like I, I can't He's keep track of it. He's disgusted with it. Yeah. Just that really just throws his headset. Head right oh now. yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's, there's, that's down. exactly the Calm shirt down. as it came out. Yeah, see that said, Jeff drew it. Tell me that is not, that's amazing. There's so many times we come up with an idea and then they tweak it. They took that and just, that's it. That's the shirt. Pretty much. That is the we shirt. Got, they got rid of the arrow. The they got arrow. rid of the arrow. Yeah. Cause, cause your like arrow was like, your arrow was like, and we're flying through the air. They went through the effort of drawing a ground. Yeah, yeah. And then it was self-explanatory that we were flying through the air so they didn't need the arrow. But that is honestly like, that's one of the most one for one shirts that has ever come out. If you were like something like this, and they were like, "All right, let's just, let's that, just draw that." Literally, that and the Loopy Lupe shirt, which was the spring oh, break. Cool. Or that, oh, look at that! Family reunion shirt. Can you put them? Who's that guy? So that's that's the fake model that doesn't yeah. work here. Oh. Um, can you put the other one over the model so we can see? Can we see them side to side, like how close Comparison. they are? Yeah. 
Uh, I'll, I'll give you a minute. I don't even know who, like, probably half the people that work in on or in the store. Do you know half the people in the company? No, I don't. Oh, yeah. that's, that's right. Right. 400 people, We're like up to 400 people now, right? Almost. How many did you say? 400 almost? Close, yeah. We have about yeah. three, over 350. <laughs> I thought you said 200. Yeah, we have over... Well, that's like half. Dude, I did say 200 yeah. I have... I'm warming up the Skinny Pop. Skinny Pop? It's, it's not bad. It's, it's good. good. It's they have it on... Uh, they give it away on, on, like, in first class on American Airlines. You get... They have, like, a Himalayan sea salt one. It's fucking great. It's not bad. It's actually not that's bad for you. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Lindsay turned me on Skinny Pop. They changed the angle of the Jeep. Look at that. But you know? that's... pretty close. That's Jeff. Jeff was like, got an idea for his shirt. And then he walked over the board, and he drew the thing on the left, and then they made the thing on the right. I re- honestly, I re- if you flip them, I couldn't even tell the difference. I don't remember any of that happening, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's trust me, you drew it. Oh god, that looks like a drawing on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for it. It looks I, like my art. I didn't draw <laughs> shit. It was good. We were we were excited about the dinner, the chicken dinner. I love working with our merch. I, I say this all the time, and I say it on tours a lot. My favorite department in the company is the merch. Besides department. us, my favorite department in the company is the merch department. Besides us. <laughs> because I get it. You know, yeah. you don't need to be, you have some things don't need to be said. They're super talented and they do a really, really good job and they do a better job than I did when I ran it. But mostly because like to the day I die, I mean Rooster Teeth is my second child, right? But like out of all the things that I'm most proud of in Rooster Teeth, whether it be Red versus Blue or Achievement Hunter or Let's Play, I the thing that I i I'm very proud of that I don't think gets a lot of it doesn't get seen in that way is the store. I created our store. I ran it by myself for the first seven, six, seven years till Yvonne and, and Emily came along and then, no then awesome. knocked it out of the yeah. park. But um, I just love to see the store running so well and being such a well-oiled machine. Those guys, uh, all of them are fucking awesome and talented. And that's a, that's an apartment that is efficient and works well. They are great. Also, it's funny you even mentioned that. I talk about Achievement Hunter. It's June. Next month. Ten years. Jesus Christ. Next month is 10 year anniversary of Achievement Hunter. How crazy. We don't have to play Burnout yeah. again, do we? Come fuck, <laughs> fuck Jack. We're not playing it. <laughs> they just re released it, though. He just, and, uh, ago. Dude, dude, again. It's he like was, they knew. Jack started freaking out when they re released it. And like me and Gavin are the first show I was been. And Gavin's like, it's awful. We're not playing it. And Jack's like, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. I bought but it. But I don't again. get it because then took, we, get, we get there. And we then, took last year off, though. And we didn't then play last year, right? Did, no, did we not? No, we didn't. So we're good. We're out of time. God, I feel like we did. We just we did fuel. Huh. Yeah, but fuel even like fuel is funny because it's shit. It's like this sucks. And burnout was good in its time. I'm not arguing like sure. 2008 when it came out. It wasn't a good game. It has not aged well. The thing that kills me and about it's like a thing where Jack loved so much, and then we get there, and there's nothing to do, and I, nothing's good. I in love. It, so I don't know why he wants to keep coming back. I love the Burnout franchise, and I have very nostalgic, very good memories of Burnout 2 and 3 especially. Jack. But and, and Paradise was great. The thing that kills me when we go back to that game is you forget that if you wanted to do a certain race, you had to drive across the map to get Yeah, they had no... It's also, it fucking sucks. It's also a prime example uh, of what we discussed earlier of Jack just loving something. Where it's like, I hate it because I want you to love it. And everyone in the room has to play it because of you. And you just keep fucking talking about it. And so like, we've got to play Burnout. I'm like, here's the thing, though. We don't. <laughs> we don't have to play Burnout. <laughs> like, I'll just, I'll take little jabs of like, oh, Jack, this is great. Yeah, no, this is, this is great. Gavin will just go, this is awful. This is shit. Why are we doing this? What am I, what am I doing? And it's all just like. None of us know how to play the game because, you know, we haven't played it ever. And Jack will be like, no, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. We yeah. load it up. And then Jack's like, oh, I don't well, I don't really remember this. I, I love this part where Jack <laughs> would be like, like this. You'd be like, how do I start this race? And Jack would go like, come on, man. How many times have you played this game? Right bumper, left bumper at the same time. It's like, oh, all right, that's right. I forgot that 10 years ago I knew that command. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I did play this game 10 years ago. <laughs> he's got a little, sh- you think he's got like a little shrine to it in his house and he's like, burn it. He likes it. I get it. It's cool. If he it's were to have a shrine, I like if Jack game. were to have a shrine to one game, what do you think it would be? Assassin's Creed. Uh, trials. trials, yeah. Or Trials, yeah. I don't know. I would have said Trials. I, might, I, think maybe, I, think, I think he would take AC over Trials. I think he would take AC over Trials. I think In a hole. I think if maybe, he, I think yeah. he might pick it, Doom. Close. Like he, the new one or the old one? Old one. Just, just it, I would even say, like again, throw it in like franchise. He would do Doom. Jack, Jack. Assassin's Creed though, you. Jack pounces on anything he can, especially now, where he can be like, you know, this is old school. Mm-hmm. Like, you weren't there. You know, like, you were, you were a baby. And Doom is Doom. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'll be like, hey, Jack, I played Doom. No, you didn't play it like I played it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, never mind. He loves that phrase. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot, Jack. You're a whole five and a half years older than me. You know the other one that he's really good at that he doesn't uh, that doesn't come up anymore is uh, Rock Band. He was really oh, good at yeah. Rock Band. He was like yeah. a wizard with the drums. He's always like really good at, a th at like an odd thing. At a thing that is like, it's like, if you this is no use to you in real life in any way, you're great at it. <laughs> yeah. That's Jack. Like doing flips on a motorcycle and playing the drums, he's phenomenal. At he's phenomenal in at video trials. games. He's in phenomenal video games. at yeah, trials. Yeah. That's important. Mm. He's not. I'll, I'll say, he's not phenomenal. At Assassin's Creed. He loves it. Oh, yeah, he he's does not great. Yeah. Multiplayer. Uh, he's phenomenal at trials. Phenomenal. He's fucking good. Um, which is even better that Gavin beat him in that bet. Not because Gavin's better, because Gavin's smarter. Oh, and Jack just got so fucking mad. <laughs> so smart. He got so mad. And he got so pissy. This is like forever ago. Jack, I think Gavin probably brought it up, but like they made a bet of who, who would get the most, get the most, just like uh, it was time trials. So you get was, the best it was, time. It was on time the trials track. of like who of the two of them would have a better time on each track, and then add up how many Perfect. tracks each had. So it would just be like, well, I'm better than you at ten tracks. You beat me in eight tracks. Like I win. Sure. Uh, so Jack, as soon as they made this bet, like just started playing it all the time and like setting times. And Gavin did absolutely nothing. And he li he waited till literally the night before the bet was over, and then just looked at all of Jack's times. And he just went for like the easiest times that he had. Like like Jack tried like a motherfucker on some courses, but right. then just like played some other ones. And then so, he, he also Jack, forgot about it because he, he set all those he, times and Gavin never played. He forgot, <laughs> but then the problem was Jack was competing against no one because Gavin wasn't trying. So he just set a bunch of random scores, and then that was it. And then Gavin came in the day before and was like, oh, I can beat that time, I can beat that time, I can beat that time. Like, Jack, undeniably better than Gavin at trials. And Gavin's very good at trials. I would Gavin's say he's, he's the second best. Easily. But Jack is undeniably better. But he just waited till the last fucking night, and then he just beat, like, a bunch of times, and he beat Jack. And Jack was fucking pissed about it. He was, <laughs> he was just, well, he did the thing of, like, like you know. He was, oh, like, you're going to cheat. Care. Yeah, of course you're going to yeah. cheat, whatever. Jack, the thing that Had I known care. you were going to cheat, oh, I would have just donated the money oh, to charity oh, on yeah. day one. Well, that was, and that was, he did that, too. Yeah. Then he guilted him into, he was like, well, if I won, I was going to donate it to charity. So you should really donate it to charity. I think it was, like, a $100 bet. Yeah. Sorry, it's like a $20 yeah. bet. And, uh, whatever the fuck it was. But like, like he basically publicly announced, like, yeah, everybody, Gavin won. So you know, I mean, I was gonna donate it to charity though. So Gavin won. But do whatever you want with the money anyway. Here's Gavin, the money. Whatever. Enjoy it. Here's, spend it. Whatever. Here's the money. Enjoy it. Spend it on yourself. I was gonna donate it to charity, but all right. And then, and then Gavin donated it to charity because he, he boxed them in. The awesome. I will say, like Jack, Jack kind of won. Gavin yeah, won the contest, he, he, yeah, and the then Jack, Jack won the war. Yeah, yeah. He did. yeah. He won Jack the won the battle. Yeah, yeah he did. He didn't win the post game, but it was it was just pissing That's back and funny. forth. It was fucking great. It was pretty humorous. That's really smart too, because he had, he had no way to base anything off of that. No, like I said, yeah. they made the bet, and I think Jack immediately went home and started setting times. How and, long and, was and the bet for? Just a couple, like a, a couple, month or it something. A couple weeks. weeks. It was, okay. a, couple, it was a couple yeah. weeks or like a month. It was like they picked the day and said, "This is the end." And Gavin, he came in and was like, I can't beat that time, I can't beat that time, I can't beat that. Oh, I can beat that. Like, I think most of the times he beat was like, no effort. It sure. was just all the maps Jack didn't try. I think what it was, was Jack, <laughs> if really Jack funny. already <laughs> had the record, he didn't try to beat his own sure. record. Yeah. He was just like, oh, I've already got Gavin on that one, I've already got Gavin on that one, I'll do this one and I'll do this one. There's no way he'll beat me on this one. So he didn't even attempt some of the really easy ones. That probably he set a record That's the first time he funny. played it. He probably yeah. played a map once, sure. had a better time than Gavin, and was like, all right, I'm good there. And Gavin's like... And Gavin went back and yeah, he really the easiest he, levels. He really slimed his way to the, to the top. And that's, <laughs> he really, how you, that's how you do it! Played a contest the way it was meant to be played. Yeah. Yeah. To win. To win. Right. <laughs> I never understood Jack's whole like I'm gonna cheat. That is Jack. I'm sympathetic say, towards I'll you, but like, I, don't, I can't follow you down again, this line. Coming in, Chief Hunter was you and Jack. The, the, I like Jack immensely. I've always liked Jack. I like I him immensely him so more much. now than, than I did when I started. Every time I see Jack, I want to hug him. But like in a good way. The first year and a half, two years. The number of times Jack would just result into just like some annoyed him. He's like, "Hey Jeff, remember the good old days when just you and me?" And I would always just like, "What the fuck are you talking? What are you talking about?" And I would have to just like stop that. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, when they would just shit on you on the podcast and you'd leave." But is that what you're talking about when they make fun of you about living with your parents? 
<laughs> like, I'm not even making fun of you about it. I'm bringing up what you're talking about is the good old days. What are the good old days, Jack? Tell them to me. And then, like, he would just get so bent out of shape with the whole, like, lad shit. I'm like, fucking kids. Remember when it was just us, Jeff? When it was up? And I, I was, I'm like, Jack, you realize you're closer to my age than you are to Jeff, right? I keep telling you, it's like, la, 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 la. Like, you, Jack wants to be 80 years old. Like, he just, like, he wants it. You know, he just wants to be older than everyone. And be like, let me tell you. Let me tell you how Well, I will say this about Jack. Jack is old at heart. Oh, yes. Yeah. Very, very, very old. Very old. Um, but he's had he's he had built a, those Lego sets. He loves, loves his Lego yeah. and his Lego. Those are age restricted. Yeah. He's had yeah. a eight, major. Eight or twelve. That's, and I say this. I say early on, yeah. Jack. He's had a major shift. Jack. Jack has had some light in his life. <laughs> Katie's mellowed him out. Hundred percent. Yeah. He's had some 100%. vegetables. He eats green things he's now. There. Yeah. He like. Yeah, there's the shirt. There's green things. Yeah. We didn't hide back there. There's the shirt thief. Good times. Oh, we can talk about it because there's no way Lewis is going to appear on camera right now. You know who else I like? Lewis. I love him. I like him. I like him. The, he's the best. You know, it's kind of like, I don't know about this Lewis guy. You know, it's kind of like, you know. <laughs> That's what everybody was saying. Well, like, there's, there's this guy coming, you know, and it's like, there's some shady dealings and like, guess what? Oh, he's inching closer. He's yeah. here. He's and thinking, then it's like, how, how are we going to deal with this guy? It's like a fucking vampire. He's just like in the room. He's like, With a lie. But, uh, yes. Vampire, right. Yeah. Vampire. Uh, 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 like how, you know how, like, <laughs> vampires, they, have, they cast no reflection in a mirror? He's the same thing with cameras. That's yeah. why he doesn't want to appear in camera. Maybe, maybe, maybe when he sees himself though. in a mirror, he's Blood not wearing Texas. a new shirt. Yeah. He's just yeah. wearing his old shirt. Uh, I will Ooh. say the pain in the ass if you if the if you're on like off like so, like out of Austin, you know, or doing uh, working, and the guy wants coffee. Though. Oh yeah, that's, 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 that's that place enough. isn't good enough. That place isn't good enough. That place I, I GPS the place f five miles we away. We might miss our flight, but we will but have I, good coffee. And then he gets the coffee, and it's <laughs> this big. It's like a fucking shot of like, all right, I'm good. Let's go work. And I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> like you wanted four ounces of coffee. <laughs> He's like, no, I needed that. He's like, nope, can't start the day. I need it. Can't start it. This place isn't good enough. Whatever that dude needs to get going. Because once he gets going, he's awesome. <laughs> good at his job, that Lewis. All right, Andy's looks like he's dozing off. We All should right, get buddy. him to bed. Thanks for hey, showing yeah. up today. And yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. This was I had great. A good time hanging this out. This is another. Yeah, we had some that's a less yeah. than three hour okay. podcast. Holy what? shit! It's four o'clock. We Whoa. started at one thirty. Oh, one thirty. Two and a half. Hour. Okay, yeah. two and a half. Woo! All right, okay. well, let's see you fuckers later then. Uh, that's dead. You don't have to say goodbye because they stopped watching like an hour ago. Oh yeah. But if you skip the head to the end, thanks. Leave. Yeah. I don't know. No reason to be here. Jack's okay now. It's over. It's done. <laughs>